You know, when you're doing the same thing over and over and over, you can't sit around and wait for a spark. But you gotta find things that are gonna make you constantly inspired and have that passion. You also gotta be responsible for your own creative vision and you have to create that spark yourself. It's such a fun challenge to try to get that vision, what's in your head, onto the final projects. My name is Ron Lee Christensen of uh, Blue Horse Studios. I'm a custom graphics shop here in Vancouver, Washington. Been working with the PC industry and gaming industry for the past uh, 15 years. Excited to be a part of everything that happens uh, within the industry. I got started in PC modding about 15 years ago. I was looking to upgrade my own personal PC because I needed something powerful enough to run like Photoshop and some of my graphics programs. At the time, I didn't really know anything about PCs, how they were built, so I didn't really know anything about what I was doing. And I think I fried my first PC while I was building it, so it kind of forced me to go out and learn. A little spark went off. I'm like, well, I, I can customize this PC. I can actually paint this. So we're going to start uh, working on these little inlays, but we want to really give this a really cool metallic finish. So we're going to use a little bit of this graphite powder here. And what that's going to do is kind of give us like a metal surface look. And then once we're done with that, uh, we're going to take a little bit of gold paint and kind of just go over the top of that and just to give that embossed kind of relief look. So we got about 40 of these that we need to make, and once we're done, it's gonna look exactly like this one. Being a painter and sculptor, I was looking for another way to express myself. I just got tired of working on a 2D surface and, and incorporating the love for PCs and now artwork and kind of putting those two together. I thought it would be like a really cool idea and, and a fun venture for me to express myself. And then I'm like, what if I document this and just put it like on YouTube, show all my mistakes and all my successes and just capture everything. And I started my first PC mod, which was Scratch Build. And then slowly I started to get sponsorships. The first was MMBC Tech and then Thermal Take and Cooler Master and then Nvidia and Intel, of course. All right, here at the shop, we do work on a lot of projects that are on strict NDA, and we can't really reveal the full build to you guys until those NDAs are released. But I got a couple projects behind me that I've completed, and they're still in our shop that I'd love to share with you guys. First is our Alien build, all Aliens theme. I'm a huge Aliens fan, and if you guys don't know, this was on CPU Magazine cover, I believe, in 2016. And then the other one behind me here is the Half-Life Black Mesa. This one I won my first uh, mod contest on at PDX Land. All this sculpture and stuff is all handcrafted. These are two of my first builds that are still in the shop and that I'll probably never part with. When I started my first project, I never thought it would come all the way around to where it is now. And it's been such an exciting journey. So these files here, um, we just uh, 3D printed them on our SLA printer. We got several of them here that we need to get painted up. Great thing about SLA printers is that they do print quite a bit quicker than the FDM printers. And the detail is a lot better as well. You don't really get those layer lines. 
All right, we're gonna start working on a little bit more on the base here. I got a lot of rocks and uh, kind of cobblestone that I still need to create on this base. But I really like styrofoam because it has all this great little detail and you just roll it right on top of the clay. And it gives you all those porous kind of indents that stone naturally has. And voila, we got a little stone path going. I love working with studios that allow you the creative freedom and trust you to just do what you do. They're hiring you for a reason and trust that you're, your creative process. I love to be able to have that creative freedom. It, the Intel projects that we, we've been doing on a regular basis, the Fall, the Fall Guys was a really fun project for Intel. And we teamed up with Tristan Eaton to create these awesome Marvel projects and a couple other ones that are gonna be coming up as well. Like those relationships for me and projects like that is, is definitely why we do it. This is my wife, Debbie. She helps me a lot here at, uh, at the studio. She's my pepper pots. Uh, so um, anything that I need that's, you know, that's on a tight deadline, like a mock-up created, mm -hmm. she helps me with. She does all the heavy lifting for the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, we met in Computex at Taipei, actually. I'm there for work and he did uh, an airbrush demo. Yeah, yeah. And got picked up from the audience to try to do some airbrush. We switched contacts and start talking. Traveled back and forth to Indonesia to see her for four years and finally realized this is the one for me and proposed <laughs> to her in Thailand and got married in Indonesia. And, and then now I'm here. Yeah, six years later. Just I mean, right before COVID things that my wife and I love to do is just to get to the outdoors, take the dog to the park and take it on a hiking trail. You're working in a busy schedule. It's really important to keep a healthy frame of mind. And my wife and I both love to travel. We love, you know, exploring the world and seeing things. And as being an artist, one of my great inspirations that I get is from being in nature and traveling and experiencing different cultures and different ways of how people live and trying new foods and experiences constantly getting inspiration and passion from other things. These last two years with the restrictions of COVID, it's been really hard to actually travel or really do anything. So we haven't been able to go to any shows because the shows have been pretty much all canceled. But now that they're starting to come back, really getting excited to be able to take projects back to shows. The best part about the PC mods is not the projects themselves, it's the actual community. Working with the other guys and girls in the community, working with the vendors, hearing like their creative ideas for projects that they're thinking about. When I'm working with other creative people like that, just really get my juices going. And to be able to like take those projects that you've worked on for a few months or a few weeks or whatever, and, and sharing them with the community or sharing them at an event, you know, when you don't have those connections, you know, or. That's half of <laughs> half the fun of, of doing these projects. We put our heart and soul into the builds. It's, it, there's no words to describe that feeling when you see somebody so happy about something that you created for them. I don't know, I get a little teary right now thinking about it because that's why we do this, that's why I do it, is because I, it, I just love to see the happiness and joy in the people's eyes that we create these projects for. I'm just really, truly honored to be part of this whole process.
What is up, guys? Welcome to uh, Intel Studios. We are here with, well, you know what? Up, I'm not going to introduce you. You're going to introduce you because right. you're so much better at it. Oh, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> what's up, guys? I'm Fan. Uh, I stream under Fan Hots. That's my username on Twitch. I play Heroes of the Storm. I was a uh, BlizzCon World Champion, and now I'm a full-time streamer for Heroes. Wow. You know what? Honestly, I am uh, so excited about you being here because, uh, like, I don't know. People have seen us play Heroes of the Storm on stream before, like, back in my Mixer days, back when oh. I used to do Morning Mixer. So, oh, I love to like, hear that. Huge Heroes of the Storm fan. Like, it was my favorite of the MOBAs right it was like super approachable um such a great game and so uh just for people who aren't familiar with kind of the way that this goes if this is the first time you've ever seen a mod workshop what we're going to do is you and i we're going to build a pc awesome. and don't worry i'm going to direct you through it you'll, you'll kind of figure it all out as we go and i'll you can ask all the questions you want um and then when we get to the part where it starts to get boring then you're going to go off and that's like cable management, all that sort of stuff. Gotcha, I don't think gotcha. PC building is ever boring, but some other people like, start <laughs> to fall asleep. I've, I've been told by numerous individuals that, you know, that there's those people, I don't know if you ever know this, like they'll watch like the things when they go to sleep, like pimple popping or stuff like that. Which, I've definitely heard that yeah, before. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So some people have told me that they do that with my cable management. Like they'll put my cable management section on and like it's so like soothing and uh, almost like uh, like a thing that they'll <laughs> go to sleep with me actually uh, uh, doing some cable management. So you don't go to sleep while I'm doing cable management. We're going to actually have you go play some Heroes of the Storm, All right, which is good. your thing, right? That's my thing, and yeah. Team Fight Tactics, which we'll have to talk about a oh, little bit. Sure. Yeah, because yeah. I'm a huge Team Fight Tactics fan. And, and, like, have you played a lot of TFT? Like, did you play it previous to set the new set or no? I started playing a lot this uh, most recent set, actually, and it's been a ton of fun. Okay. But not much before then. Okay. Okay, good. So I'm going to, like, because I'm going to pick your brain on, like, how, how you learned like how you learned it and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so then we'll talk about that stuff over the course of while you're basically playing the game, we'll sit here and we'll build. And that's kind of the vibe for today. But um, Sounds good. why don't we start? Oh yeah, and Jez is here. So Jez, obviously know, uh, like he's somebody who uh, knows that you're a huge, uh, he's also a huge Heroes of the Storm fan. <laughs> um, and so uh, it, it's gonna be pretty cool to actually uh, uh, have him hanging out and seeing that stuff. And, I, and rumor is that we might have uh, Mr. Yubara, who's the president of Blizzard, pop in at some point in time. So he might come say hi too. Oh, sounds um, good. Yeah. That's so awesome. this is what this is what's going on. This is the this is the fun. Oh, we got Nuzman here too. Wow, we got all sorts of people. So it should be should be a super good show. And first and foremost, let's talk about the parts we're putting in your build. Because this is, this is a significant upgrade for you, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I've had my current PC for probably like three, four years now. Okay. It's, it's getting old. This is well, a huge upgrade. Well, then that, let's go through it. Let's talk about what we're going to be putting in here. We've got the Intel Core i9 12900K. Uh, 12900K. We've got the NZXT N7 Z690 Black. This is a brand new motherboard from NZXT. It looks super crisp inside of the case that we've chosen for you. We've got the EVGA 3070 Ti for the win ultra three for the win three ultra. The thing that's so good about this particular um, GPU is just it's got that fantastic RGB bar and everybody knows that more RGB equals more frames per second. So um, which should be super, super cool. Uh, we've got the Intel NVMe SSD 660p, your one terabyte NVMe drive. We've got an eight gig, uh, sorry, eight terabyte, not eight gig, eight terabyte. Wow, eight gigs. That's not enough. That's not enough for your cat. Yeah, it's not enough for your cat pictures. Uh, eight terabyte uh, Seagate Iron Wolf Pro uh, hard drive. We've got 32 gigs of G Skill Triton Z Neo. Uh, this is your. Uh, this is going to be running at 3600 megahertz or mega transfers, as, as Linus likes to say. Uh, we've got the NZXT H7 Elite in black, and then we've got that beautiful NZXT uh, Kraken Z73 RGB. It's got a. It's got a screen on it, so you. Can look at things like you can put a gif on there you can put other animations like maybe your uh maybe your uh your uh i don't know what, what what's like your favorite kind of animal like maybe you'll have some animate some animated animal gifs and wow. then finally you've got the evga supernova 1000 watt g5 so should you decide to go to 40 series or 50 series or whatever it was we at least we're giving you a good baseline psu to do this with and the best part gotcha. about this is we choose we chose all those parts like that's the part that i really really like about it so 
Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I would love to hear that. And you said I could put an animal on the cooler? Yeah, is so that there's, what you said? It, it's like a, there's, so the, the thing is, you'll see it. It's actually here. Let's grab, this is the cooler. Everybody loves this cooler. It's it's like the, the TikTok, but you can see that it's actually got a screen on it. So you gotcha, can put like, gotcha. the, like your favorite kind of animal. Like some people put like their waifus on there, like all those sort of things yeah, that you, you'd probably to want to do. So it should be a lot of fun. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so it'll be cool. I, I think when this build comes out, I mean, given it's very angular, we've got a lot of angular parts. So this build, when it kind of comes together, uh, should look look very, very clean. And I really love the new H7 case that just came out from NZXT. That case is just shy of a month old. So you're getting like brand new parts, both oh. in the motherboard and in the case, which should be cool. So yeah, sounds awesome. Um, Let's do it. But yeah, it's looking good. Nuzman wants to let you guys know that Intel, you look beautiful today. So there it is. They're all they're all blushing back here. So thank you very much for that, Nuz. Nuz is a is a friend of the show, and so he's uh, he's he's just coming in, flattering those guys and making everybody look good. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, and so why don't we kick it off before we do that? Do an introduction of like. How you got into Heroes of the Storm? Was it like, did you start with Heroes of the Dorm? Did you like, what was, what was your journey to get to where you are today? Yeah. And who was your father and what does he do? I'm just kidding. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you my entire life's details. Okay. You know, the SSN, credit card info, yeah, all that exactly, stuff. Yeah, exactly, all that stuff. We're going to put it right up there on the, uh, <laughs> we're going to put that right up there on the screen. So if you want to like buy, go to your local Best Buy or whatever Seems it was. Seems good. Yeah. Well, I got started with Heroes of the Storm kind of just uh, on accident, really. You okay. know, this was back when the game was just starting out in alpha and beta, and I heard about a new game that Blizzard was making. It was a MOBA. I used to play a ton of Dota and Dota yeah. 2. Right. And uh, I was very, uh, you know, I, I played a lot of Blizzard games. I played a lot of MOBA, so I thought, why not give it a try? Right. So I tried it, uh, you know, kind of just got good really fast at it because I had so many years of Dota experience prior and um, started joining some tournaments with my friends for fun. We did pretty well, and then I got some invites from some teams, and then it kind of just went from there, you know? Nice, nice. So what was it, I mean, like Dota League, are like they're, they have, a, they have a, a pretty rich history, specifically in the itemization and all, all that sort of stuff, that you really had to have like a, a super deep knowledge. And Heroes of the Storm, a lot of people called it kind of like the approachable MOBA, right? right? What was it about Heroes of the Storm that you found so approachable, or what is it that you liked more than you liked, say, for instance, Dota or League? Or did you, or, or it wasn't that it not you liked it, you just enjoyed playing the game? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of both. I mean, I think Dota and uh, Heroes of the Storm are both great games, each with uh, different aspects. Dota is a little bit more complicated. There's a lot of items, a yeah. lot of uh, uh, complicated like strategy that you have to learn. Heroes does have a wide depth of strategy. It has, you know, it's it's one of those hard to master, but easy to get started, easy right. to, uh, you know, for beginners kind of games. So I really like that about it. It has short game times, which means you can kind of get more games in. And and also, on average, you're going to get into more team fights in uh, Heroes of the Storm just by the design of the game per game, which means, you know, shorter game time plus more team fights per game. You're just constantly brawling all the time, which makes it a lot of fun. So when you play, I mean, the thing is, is like, you know, obviously, the better you are with it, you, your team is important, right? It always has been, right? And like a lot of those things, like whether that's like capturing the coins or whatever it was, there's a ton right. of objectives that <laughs> require good teamwork. Do you solo queue or are you like a team queue guy? Like, what is what is your usual play style? Yeah, I usually uh, do some solo queue. That's probably my main thing. It's just easier. You right. don't need to wait for anyone or anything like that. But occasionally, I'll do some of everything. You know, I'll play some uh, some team queues with some of my friends if they're on, or I will play some uh, like ARAMs, all random, all mid with chat. Sometimes, you know, I'll do a little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, how is? I mean, again, I was. It's funny they were asking me as part of the interviews early on. They were like, "Hey, when was the last time you played the game, Roby?" And I was like, "Oh, well, the last time I played the game was." when they kind of announced, not end of life, but like they were just gonna do critical right. updates at that BlizzCon. Right. right? Um, what, is, what is it like now playing the game? Does it still have a healthy community? Does it still, still good queue times? Like what's that like now? Yeah, I would say the queue times are pretty good overall, unless you get into like, uh, you know, the really high rank territory right. where you're like maybe top 10, top, you know, five, top one. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. The queue times are, 
uh, on average, still pretty fast, and it's a good community for sure. A lot of people playing it. Kind of, I, I would kind of compare it to something like maybe Super Smash Bros. Okay. or uh, you know maybe Starcraft, Brood War. There's a lot of these older games that still have extremely strong communities around them, just because the game itself is super fun to play. Right, right, no, and I absolutely agree with you. So, who's your favorite? Like, do you have a favorite hero? I have uh, quite a few favorite heroes, okay, actually. But you got to choose one. You got to choose your favorite kid. All right. And they're not going to judge you. Well, they probably <laughs> will judge you. That's absolutely what they're going to do. But I, if I have to pick one, I'll pick uh, Vala. She was my OG hero. When I first started playing the game, it was probably the one hero I started with. I just kind of one trick did until I figured out the game. So <laughs> I love that. I'll go with that. Okay. What about your least favorite? Who's Ooh. the one you kick to the curb? Least favorite. I, I think my chat knows this one pretty well. It's it's it goes back and forth, but I, I'd say the all-time winner is probably Probius, the uh, probe <laughs> from StarCraft. It's just uh, not the strongest hero in the game. Maybe the weakest hero in the game, and that, that might be why I pick it. There we go, Probius. It is. So let's see. Let's hear in the chat. See if uh, if anybody's basically if they agree, if they don't agree. Um, but we'll go from there. Okay. Well, are you ready to start building? You have little to no build experience. That's correct. Okay. I, uh, I I think I went to a PC building camp when I was like five years old or something. Well, there was a PC building camp? I think so. But the problem is I remember almost nothing. I mean, I, I vaguely remember there was some wires and maybe like a <laughs> box. Uh, I was, It's not good. I'm going to okay, say I'm a complete not, beginner. It could have been a PC camp or maybe you were like tricked into working at UPS for a little while. Possibly, like, possibly. You're building a PC. If you could just stack these boxes in the back of this truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. All Look at this great PC you've done. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, okay, there we go. Somebody said Probius is my waifu. There, that's uh, oh. that's interesting. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You know, he's he's looking for easy to handle, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and have you grab some of the key parts here. Let's grab sure. your motherboard. We'll start with that. Excellent. So this is the new NZXT Z690. This is a brand new motherboard. Oof, looks Lots fancy. of shielding. Yeah, it's 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 fancy. It was done in, uh, in collaboration with uh, ASRock, which um, so NZXT had a lot of design input with this. But why don't you go ahead and pop it open? Yeah, now, sure. guys, we do know like one of the things that we're doing now more than anything is uh, I've been spending a lot of time actually pre-setting these up. So when we turn this PC on. All the lighting should be good. We've already over there. You know, he came. He came in. He was like, I was like, oh, here's your PC right here. And he was like, wait, Ooh. what? So we've already done all the testing. Ooh. I'll help you. Ooh. Oh, it's being, it's being, it's being tricky. Yeah, it's. What's uh, going on doesn't here? Doesn't want to leave its box. Come on, get here. out of the box. Oh, there we go. Get out of the box. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if you want to pop that open, there's a there's a motherboard inside of a, a like a plastic anti-static bag, and we're gonna go ahead and remove that. You can keep everything else in the box. You won't need anything else out of gotcha. the box. Gotcha. So cool. there you go. This. There we go. Awesome. I'll put this over here. We've gotten more. Uh, we've gotten more. Uh, Fancy. Uh, we've actually got a box to throw garbage in versus throwing oh, it on the floor. Awesome. So you, like they were like they were like, look, fans coming. Like we want to make sure that we're a little bit more upscale. <laughs> like we're getting like some some real quality talent on the show. Unlike wow. the, I'm just kidding. Hi. No, that wasn't what it is at all. They were just like, we're sick of picking up your garbage that you just throw everywhere, Roby. I'm like, oh, that's that seems fair. That seems fair. Okay, so we're gonna go and pop this out. There is your motherboard right there. Beautiful board, yeah. by the way. I love how angled it is. The one thing that's different, like most motherboards you look at, um, they're all covered, um, at the, you know, and you can see a lot of like exposed traces, stuff like that. NZXT put a ton of shielding on there, and this has been uh, something they've done for a while, ever since their Z490 boards. So, um, and it's gotten better because there's there's a bunch of like quality of life fixes nice um, that they've added for like their RGB controllers and stuff like that. But if you want to take this out of the little the little wrap there. Sure. Yeah. It looks like this thing's wearing some yeah, armor lift, or you something. Just lift it up. Yeah. Lift it up. Gotcha. There you go. Perfect. Cool. And then uh, I'm just gonna throw this right here for Paul. <laughs> just to just to just to just to keep <laughs> things interesting. Okay. So here's your CPU. Wow. That looks fancy. There too. it is. Yes. It is fancy. And you can Ooh. go ahead. Let's see if you can figure out how to open it up. It's right there in the back. In yeah, the back. No. No. Just go ahead and open that. There you go. Gotcha. Here we go. It's very fancy. It, Intel always, especially in their like flagship CPUs, wow, that always packaging. like has like the craziest packaging. <laughs> yeah. 
So and I'll take the little book out of here. This looks like and some if you want to twist Valentine's that open, chocolates or something. Yeah, in this it is. Box. So actually, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank I got you, you thank chocolates you. instead of a CPU. That seems that seems better, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not sure about this anymore. <laughs> You're like, I want the, I want the CPU back. There oh. it is. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take this from you. Yeah, sounds good. Get this out of the way. And then, uh, you know, it's funny because, like, a lot of people end up taking these home because they just love how kind of neat the boxes are. This is a wafer. So this is actually when you when you actually make a CPU, when they make CPUs, they come on a wafer like this. They're much, much bigger. Uh, and then uh, these in, are these are all individual pieces that they cut to make the CPUs that are eventually those. So that is there. It is actually like a functional... Okay, we're going to do this right there. There we go. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. figured it out. There we go. Nice. Done. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do right. is uh, you're going to take your finger and you're going to push this under and then kind of lift up. It's going to go like push out and over under, and lift then lift up. up. Perfect. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then what you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and lift that open and, and you're going to expose the, the right here. Gotcha. And then pull it up. Lift this. Yep. Okay. And now you've exposed the pins. Gotcha. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do now is you're going to open this up. Like that, and you're gonna grab this with your fingers and set it inside of the socket. All right, just uh, in the same direction yep, here? in the exact same direction. Just set, set it, it right in like, uh, this. Perfect. Okay. Good, yeah. you're good to go. It looks like it's in. Shake, okay, now, you're gonna kinda do the reverse. Using this finger, you're gonna kinda push it down, holding it, and then you're gonna push that back under. Gotcha, all right. Go yep, here. just like that, yep, hold it down. Hold it down. Yep, and then you hold, push it all the way down. All the way down. Okay. Don't, don't, don't push that. No, push this. Oh, push this. Yeah, okay. all the way down, and then take this and then reclip it under. Oh, oh. nice pop. That's good. <laughs> That's by design. Keep going. You were done. Oh, really? Yeah, you got to close it all the way. It's okay. really hard. Oh, this takes yeah, more the, strength than I thought. Thing, yeah, exactly. It's, and the whole thing is, is that this is just making sure that there's really good contact with the pens underneath. So that's essentially what you just did. And you've just installed your first CPU. Awesome. Now, do you remember that at PC Build Camp? No. Okay. I'm glad I'm I did that. I'm pretty sure you were working at UPS. I just thought I broke oh. my first <laughs> CPU with the, with the thing popping right there. Oh, my. We always like to have a little bit of fun. Uh, somebody's <laughs> saying no thermal paste. Uh, we will. Uh, the thermal paste is actually built uh, onto the uh, I, the um, cooling plate on the, uh, it's pre-applied. So oh, we don't have to do that today. Awesome. Um, you just get to uh, you get to just enjoy your build. Okay, Excellent. next up, we're going to install your RAM. Now, I will say something about uh, this series of, of motherboards, um, is that uh, the loudness of the RAM is not necessarily all that awesome. So uh, for my community, they love to hear the loudness of the clicks. Um, it just, it's, there's something visceral. So I'll, I'll, what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration on how to do it, uh -huh. and then you'll do the other three, if that makes sense. Okay, sure. Yeah. And I kind of open these like waffles. Didn't know RAM makes noise. Oh, absolutely it makes noise. Yeah, you uh, you need to watch more PC building streams. This is like a big <laughs> deal. Like we, we take out like a decibel meter and all sorts of stuff like that. So some of you saying cheater. You're talking about the fact that we're not going to pre-apply. We're not going to use thermal paste. I believe we, so. If you really want us to install thermal paste, we'll install thermal paste. If it's if it's that important for you, we will Man, absolutely do it. I was looking forward to that thermal paste, it looks like. Man, people are really mad about you not wearing the sunglasses today. I know. I usually always wear Should I just... Am I, oh, he's, are you got, he's are, going to do it. Does there this it make is. you happy or chat? There yeah, you go. I there usually always he's got, wear he's sunglasses. He's got his sunglasses on. All right, we'll it's do this for a while. It's a little bright outside today. Yeah. So there it's a little it is. bright inside too, you know. <laughs> it's a little bright inside. He's looking. He's looking good. I love it. It's like you're on brand, and you were prepared. Yeah. Okay. So here is here is your lesson. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Gotcha. Uh, you see the sticker? You're gonna have the sticker point towards the CPU. You're just gonna slip it in these little two sockets like so. And what you do is on both thumbs, uh -huh. let's give it a solid push. Did you, hear that? Did you hear that click? I heard that click. Yeah, that's, that was loud. That's what people enjoy. That's that's the moment, right? You know Ooh. what I mean? And that was actually a quality click. I expected it to be a little bit more mushy. But yeah, that was um, that was a pretty that, satisfying yes, click, if I say so myself. That's what you want. I noticed you got a little weak in the knees. It's okay. It's okay. Oof. But we'll, we'll, hold, we'll hold you up. <laughs> okay. So there we go. So you're going to do the same thing. All right, so since we're filling on all four sl slots. So uh, no, make sure you're in both. Yeah, just, yeah, just line it up. Line it up. Gotcha. And then I'll, I'll, I'll verify it before you give it the big pressure so we don't snap it. Does this in look half. good to you or? Uh... Yeah, let's see here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now give it a solid push on both ends. Both ends. Yeah. Okay. We good? Nope. You nope. didn't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. Really big click. 
You're getting oh, okay. really a lot of power. Man, I feel like I should be like gentle around I know, all these electronics. This, this, this requires more force this than is, I thought. This is, this is what I'm used to when we built, like every time people are like, you know, they'll be like, is it in? You're like, you didn't even do anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, and and it, it is a bit of a misnomer when people think about doing some of this stuff. It's like, you'll get this whole PC boot and you're like, oh, it didn't, like it's not turning on. It's because you didn't see a RAM in or all that sort of stuff. So there is obviously some caution when you're, when you're building PCs. Right. But you don't have to worry. It's not as much as you think. So let's have you try again. You got two more tries, All guys. Right, I'll try again. I mean, this is pretty much the extent. I actually went over a basic guide on how to put together a computer, okay. and this is everything I learned. So yeah, it so was, the motherboards, uh, this is like the most fun part. Like you oh, get, not, not even what you said, though. It's, uh, my, my notes were basically, uh, you know, uh, big square is motherboard. <laughs> Small square is CPU, right? <laughs> and then a uh, big triangle is RAM. And I think small triangle might be SSD. And yep. That's it. That was the end of my that's, notes. That's all hey, I got. But, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I have some people in there and they're like, wait, this is your hard drive? So you're going to make sure that you like it's going to go all the way over to the right. There's right. four sockets. All right. And... Uh... Takes a little bit. Takes a little bit of practice. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I, I, you have to remember, I've done, a, you know, thousand plus of these. And you're on like one, so it's true, like it's true, fair true. to be, it's fair to know. Okay. Make sure it's in. Just give it a little bit of a push to make sure it sit, sits. There you go. Okay, cool. now, and then push hard. Big push. Big push. Big push. Big push. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay. Wow, you are a lot better than pushing <laughs> at pushing than I am. I, well, I think again, I it feels very unnatural, right? Like, yeah. but you got to give it. You got to get a solid push. So I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna give you one more chance. I'm gonna get it perfectly seated for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And then we'll just. So you're just gonna take your thumbs and give it a solid, solid push down. Solid push. There you go. See, there oh, you go. And that excellent. was a click, and you're good. Oh, sorry. You're almost there. Oh. But there it is. Okay. So RAM is installed. You've now got your RAM, your CPU. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and pull that off. Okay. It just pops off. It's on magnets. This, uh, this thing right yep, here? Yep, that right there. Yep, okay. just pops off. Okay, Ooh, let's okay. get your screwdriver, which I left over in the other station. So one second. I'm going to yep, go sure. journey. It's a six-mile journey, guys. Six miles. Whew. This pops right. So far. So this is far away. magnetic. This We're so cool, far guys. away. Okay, I got, I got, the, uh, got the hard drive. Mother boys I mean, were so fancy Screwdriver here. here. Okay, I'm back. Did you well, miss me? I did. Okay. All three seconds of it. Okay. <laughs> it was a long way away, guys. It was a long way away. Okay, here's what you're going to do here. You're going to use this screwdriver. You're going to remove that screw and that screw. Gotcha. Now, these are magnets, so sometimes they'll, like, pop over. So don't be, don't be, don't be nervous if it does. All right. Two so just screws. Pop right out. There you pop go. them out. Yeah, and they'll come all the way out. Sometimes they're captive. Yep, oh, see what I mean? And there they go. Yeah. It just pops over. All it's right. like, no, it's mine. Motherboard really wants to keep the screws. It's probably a little harder with the sunglasses, huh? A little bit. Okay. Well, we well, well your good thing is is that like if it gets too tricky, guys, we want them to enjoy the PC unless you're cool with it not working when we're done. Oh, uh, you know, I prefer <laughs> the working kind. <laughs> Although I, the not working is okay too, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna remove that. Okay, so now let's grab your hard drive, which yep. is right here. And I don't know, a lot of people are always surprised when we show these. We're like, oh yeah, this is your uh, this is your hard drive. So Pop it out here. I don't know if you've seen one of these, but these are NVMe SSDs. So that's your hard drive right there. Oh, I have not, but it looks fancy. It is fancy and fast, which is what people care about the most. Excellent. So, okay. So what you're going to do, there's a little slot in the PCB, and notice there's a little slot right there. You're just going to slide that right in just like that. Gotcha. Slide it in over here. Yep, and then give it a... Good push in. Give it, a good it will click. Every, oh. There you go. See, and then oh. it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a diving board. Yes, it is. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do now is go ahead and peel this off the back. All righty. Peel this off. Just, just the blue. Perfect. Just the blue. Just the blue. All okay, right. on, you hand that to me. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to have we're going to put this back on. Okay. Like so. Oh, I'm going to put it the right way, like so. And then you'll notice that you can put those screws right back in. Oh, sounds good. Let's see here. And then uh, the the uh, just so you know, the screwdriver is actually oh. magnetic, which will make probably make it a little bit easier for you. That I forgot how strong that other magnet is, so it'll like sometimes catch it over there. It'll be a little bit tough to kind of screw down on that one, but it does go all the way down. Yep. Perfect. 
Awesome. Okay, you're you're in there. All right, one more. You're doing good. Oh, that's good to hear. Let's see, go here and down it goes. All the way down. All the way down. Perfect, Perfect. just like awesome. that. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're good there. So you've essentially got your motherboard put all the way together. Open this up. Add this, like so. Cool. Okay, so we got that going. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab your LGA 1700 bracket out of here. Yep. And go from there. So we'll grab the knife, which I also left over here. Yeah, sure. You know, I just, so this... I just really like to get my steps in when I'm building. You know, that's a key <laughs> part of this, this whole thing is just enjoying yeah, a little. Exercise is important. Yeah, getting some exercise, you know. So this is the cooler that I can put any picture I want on, right? Cool. Yep, you can put your picture in. You can check your temperatures, all that sort of stuff. Sounds good. Which is always fun. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. I think Troy was worried there for a minute. He was like, he was panicked. He's like, where's <laughs> Roby? He just left. <laughs> Hope he's coming back. <laughs> Even though I can hear him. <laughs> okay, it's going to get this open. Good knife practice, which is not going well right now for me. Oh, there no we go. Worries. Okay, there it is. Wow, this is... I should put a murky there. Know, That's not a bad idea for you to try. Not a bad idea. I'll consider it. Yeah. What? Is, oh, for what you're gonna what you're gonna put? Oh, yeah, yeah. For the oh, picture. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, because you. I mean, the the one thing about like like I said, they they have like a very rich IP pool for oh, you yeah, to pull sure. from. So like, and the only two is like so like because their forums have all of those animated things. It's like that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So like you have a lot of a lot of options in terms of what you decide what you may decide to put on uh, this beautiful, uh, this beautiful uh, piece of hardware. Okay, so build the extraordinary. There's your QR code. Cool. Pop this open. We're gonna look for your bracket. Okay. And here, there it is right there. That looks like a lot of parts. Yes, and this is this is the part where it's always confusing because you're always like, oh, like what do I actually use? And it's funny, I was just helping, uh, I was helping, uh, I was watching Asus and Intel do a build with uh, Nico Lu. Do you, I don't know if you see it from Thunder Thieves, uh -huh. uh, but she was in there and she was doing that build, and I eventually jumped on the call and helped her finish building her PC. Oh, the but savior. it was like one of those things. She was like, she like, she was like, ah, there are so many parts. And you're like, yep, that's, that's there how I are. feel. Yeah. So we ended up helping her uh, get it done. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and flip the motherboard all the way over. All the way over. Yep. Like or actually, upside down? You, or? Yeah, upside down. Yep. So the, the top is face. Yep, exactly. Like this. On its face. Okay. Now you want to get each of these holes into these right here. And you're, these are movable, but you're going to move them so this lays absolutely flat on the back. Gotcha. Okay. You, you can kind of slip them around, yeah, move them around, all that sort of stuff to get it to fit. Okay. And this one, one takes more. A little, takes a little practice. All right, okay, be. perfect. Awesome. That was actually way faster than uh, the last individual, which is cool. Okay. And, okay, so what you're going to do is take these, and you're going to put, you're going to screw them in, into each corner. Screw them into each corner. Gotcha. Yep. Doesn't really matter which uh, way goes in first. It, it'll yeah, it'll just yeah, and cool. just making sure it goes all the way all the way down okay. is the key part. There we go. You're gonna screw it all the way down. All the way down, gotcha. And just because people complained, we're gonna thermal paste it up, baby. Oh, oh my, excellent. The chat yeah. gets what they the want. The chat gets what they want. And then once you get those two on, I'm going to have you stop, and we'll do the thermal paste. Sounds good. And then I'll show you how to do this, so that way in the future you can do it too. Yeah, that's excellent. We're committed to quality here on Mod Workshop. <laughs> so, okay, we'll wipe up the little fingernail things that you get on there. Okay, cool. So oh, your VRM is clean. Okay, so what we're going to do is what we do is this is like, this can be a little bit... Rough here, we're going to put about a pea size, or a little bit more than that, on the, on the IHS like that. And then 
We take our little spreader. Looks spreader. like a little spatula. It's also good for like little miniature uh, yeah, um, like waffles. Making a sandwich or something yeah, over exactly. here. Yeah, exactly. And then we're gonna start the spreading process here. And this takes a little bit of time with this particular. So you wanna cover the uh, cover up everything here? Yep, you wanna cover up everything here, except for gotcha. when your thermal paste is terrible. And what's the purpose of the thermal paste? So what thermal paste does is actually a lot of people think that the top of the uh, the top of the um, the top of the CPU is absolutely flat, and it's not. It's actually got a lot of individual like little ribs and imperfections in it. Uh huh. And what thermal paste actually does is it key, it makes the thing more flat. This one may not be a good spread one. We may just have to do the dab. Because this, like, sometimes you want to spread it, and it's just not going to work. I yeah. might actually go try. There we go. We're starting to get a, yeah, I'm going to go get a different thermal paste. One sec, guys. Yeah, sure. This stuff is uh, not the best. So we're going to go grab a different kind of thermal paste and do this again with something that actually spreads a little better. Looks like something that belongs in a doctor's office over here. Yeah, and that's the one thing <laughs> is, like, so uh, people talk to me, and they're like, hey, why do you want, like, why do you like to spread the thermal paste versus... Um, why do you like to spread the thermal paste versus just doing the dot method? And the main reason being is that if you cover the entire IHS, when you lift your cooler, in some cases, what you can do is you can actually see where the cooler is actually impacting and touching the CPU. And that just makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot issues. The other thing, too, is also it minimizes hot spots versus spreading. You're not guaranteed. For, I, mean, ver, I mean, versus like just compressing, which is where like you put a dot. You're not guaranteed to be able to get everything. So we're just going to clean this gunk off. Gotcha. We're going to use a different kind of easier thermal paste. And thermal, not all thermal pastes are made equal. I am going to, when we do the next episode, bring... The stuff that I have a tendency to use is actually made by Noctua, which is called NH. It's like their NH1. And it's a much easier one to use to spread. So, gotcha. and then I'll shoot. But hopefully, I think this Cooler Master stuff I have here actually works really well for that, too. So I'm just going to clean all this off. Right. You guys are getting the full experience. This is what... Uh, this is what they want. Yeah. It's what the people want. Okay, this one is actually a whole lot easier to spread. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I hope. I believe. This is by Kermel. This is by Cooler Master. Yeah, see how like this comes out very easily. Yeah, it feels a lot smoother. Yeah, and then we can just start to cover it there. See, that's what you want. Okay, there we go. And we'll just cover that entire IHS. Will this thing be able to run hots? I sure hope so. Flux. Oh, great. I would hope so too. That <laughs> game is quite. I mean. For as great as that game is, it is, it is not the newest of bit, bits of software, so um, this should be able to run it with no issues whatsoever. Excellent. Yeah. Love to hear that. Okay, so we got that covered. Now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the excess that we have on here off. Right. Because you want it to be, like, thin. There we go. And then see how we have a nice, thin layer here. Okay. And then we take a little bit more of the isopropyl and then just clean off the edges. And then this way, when, the therm when, the, uh, when we put the cooler on, got to be careful here. Yeah, I know. I don't want to take all the, all the thermal paste off. There we go. I'm just going to clean around your socket. Duffy feels like you're a surgeon or something. Uh, yep, when you do that. Okay, and then we'll clean a little bit off of your our spatula for the next 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 episode. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So now what you can do is you can go and put in the other two screws, and I'll clean up a little bit of a mess we've got left here. All right, will do. But there you go, chat. You requested it, and we <laughs> did it. We actually put on thermal paste and made sure. No, we didn't cheat, as you were saying. That's uh, true. The specs, let's go and go through the parts real quick while, while he's uh, going in there. We'll, we'll actually cover the specs one more time. Uh, so the parts that are inside of this PC, he's got a Core i9-12900K, which is great to just make sure that we have really good cooling for, because it's like the beast from Intel. We've got an NZXT N7 Z690 block. This is the latest, in, uh, latest Z690 motherboard released um, and fairly new. Uh, EVGA RTX 3070 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra. Uh, so nice, nice, nice balanced 
uh, GPU to go with that 12900K. You've got a one terabyte uh, Intel SSD 660P. You've also got an eight terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro. You've got 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z Neo RAM, that NZXT 8 N7 Elite Black case. And then finally, you've got the NZXT Kraken Z73 RGB cooler, which we just got finished putting the uh, parts on for. And then the EVGA Supernova 1000 G5. So very, very good um, cooler and PSU. And there we are. The entire motherboard is now put together and ready to go. So why don't you do us the next favor? Sure. I'm going to move this out of the way. And what I'm going to have you do is grab your case grab my case will do and put it up on the table you're gonna put it up on the table yeah sounds yep. good and so this is the latest case from nzxt so this was an update to their nzxt n7 series so this is called the h7 uh some things that are new about this particular case is that um, they have more airflow since we're going to be top mounting our aio so if you look at the top here and actually see really, really nice, big peripheral, uh, nice holes. So your AIO is going to get lots of air. Right. Um, there's also like a lot of people say, hey, well, your front glass is uh, trapped. Well, actually, it's not. If you look at the side here, there's a lot of ventilation both here on the side and then also at the bottom where it pulls in air to these beautiful brand new RGB 140 millimeter fans uh, that come with this case as well. And then a lot of really cool accents here on the top, like you've got purple uh, USB. Um, and then the other thing too is like your entire build is all black and purple. So it uh, should come out looking very, very clean when we're all said and done. But Excellent. in order for us to build in it, we got to yep. take it apart. Okay. So why don't I have you go ahead and just, what you're gonna do is just kind of pull on the front glass there. Just, just it's all toolless. Right so just give it a pull towards you. Gotcha. Toolless. There you no go. No screws. Just huh? like that. Oh, yeah, wow. you just hand it to me. Okay. And just lift up. Lift it up. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There, oh, you go. there so, yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah, it was a little, little tricky. Yeah. There we go. So we got that off. Okay, next stop, uh, we're going to go ahead and have you do the same on the back here. Got it. Same thing. You're just going to give it a pull. Right. And it pulls and lifts up. Pull. Lifts there we up. go. Gotcha. Okay, awesome. And then same thing here at the top. I'm just going to pull from the back. You're just going to pull from that little Oh, slide. even the top will yeah, just come top, right yeah, off, Yeah, the huh? top comes off. Give it a solid pull. Oh. There we go. Off it goes. Cool. Nice. And then lastly, this just pops out. It's really easy, just like that. And so this is for cleaning your top filter and all that sort of jazz. Right. Okay. And then I'm trying to think what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and grab out of the bottom here your... This is all your extra stuff oh, okay. for that. And... I think outside of that, we're good to go. The fans we're going to leave alone. Those are just going to get plugged in. Sounds uh, good. This stays on, as far as I know. Yeah, we're just going to... I think I leave this on. Yes. I think I leave that on. No, I don't. Okay. That's cool. a lot of fans. That yeah, we're four in there right now. Wow. Pull that off, just so it doesn't weigh down. Gotcha. You want to try and make the case as light as possible. Right. Um, so now we just have a much, much lighter case, and then you can see, like, you can actually, whoo, see? Nice and, <laughs> nice and light uh, and good to go there. Okay, so what we're going to do is lay this on its back, and now what you're going to do is you're going to install the motherboard inside of the case. So you're just going to kind of grab it like this. Gotcha. And see how there's, like, a square? Of, you're going to, this, this is going to fit right in there. Okay. And there's a little peg that it sits on oh. right in that middle area. Okay, a little peg on the other side, huh? Yeah, it's going to go right into this hole right there. Gotcha. So it'll just kind of lock it in. All right. I was never that good at Legos. Let's see here. Well, yeah, this is adult Lego, so we're getting you better right now. There you go. Try to fit it into this hole. Yeah, just into that hole. And it'll just, like, fit and then just kind of set it down. Set it down. And then just kind of line it up. See how there's little screws? You're going to yep. line it up with the screws. Line it up with the screws. Okay. Let me know if this is lined up. Nope. Not quite. And then you're going to kind of find that. There it is. Okay. There find that little peg. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So now it is in. Now, one of the things that's nice, we actually have a massive screwdriver, which I also left over on the other side. <laughs> no worries. Get ready to meet Excalibur. You ready to meet Excalibur? Excalibur. I'm ready for that. Here we go. That thing is gigantic. Yep. 
And here it is. Oh this my. is the screwdriver, the screwdriver that you're going to be using to put in all of the screws. So congratulations, your weapon of choice, sir. And what the, the other thing, too, is in this case, it's actually really good because that screwdriver is going to be perfect for actually putting in the mounting screws yeah. for this screwdriver. <laughs> it seems helpful. Excalibur. Here it is. Got okay, it. so we're going to pop Got this open. Excalibur. Excalibur. And now we got to find the right screws, which uh, isn't always what I think they are. I always seem to choose wrong here. Um, and so I'm going to guess it's these. I don't blame you. That's a lot of different types of screws. Yeah, and you know, it's funny. As, as many PCs as I do, even I get it wrong sometimes. So we're going to take the uh, zip ties out of here. Get some extra zip ties there. Because we'll use those later on for our cable management. And then we'll do the screws. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let's grab these screws. I think they're the right ones. All right. But if I'm wrong, Give them a shot. then it's my bad. No worries. Yeah, that is a correct, Batoga. This should be the future gaming PC decked out. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to try this one, see, make sure it works. If it works, then I can have you do the rest. Sounds good. If I'm wrong, then at least I will have made the mistake. And then... I can correct it a little easier. Okay. Those, I can't tell. Does not seem to be getting all the way in. I'm gonna try these other screws. Yep. Four different kinds over there, right? There's actually only two. Oh, the good okay. thing is the other ones, I definitely know what those are. So this is, these are the only two that it's the choice between. Okay, well, so 50, luckily, 50, even better. Luckily, it's not, as, it's not as painful as we think it is. Right. I'm going to give this one a go here. Okay, so it is those screws. So what I'm going to try and do is get this other screw out that I stuck in here. And the way you do that is luckily, this is where the iFixit kit comes in handy. I fix it. That's a you lot this of really heads. big. This right here uh -huh. is a magnet bit. Oh. See? Then you just pull it out. Okay, so now we found the right screws, ladies and gentlemen. So here are your screws. Thank you. And what you're going to do is there is a hole here, a hole here. Right. There is one right here. Okay. One right there. Okay. And then there's three in the top. So if you top. want to stop, if you want to just start with these right. uh, here and here, so do those, and then we'll do the top ones afterwards. I'll give you that, and I'll put these other ones away. Sounds good. So we don't lose them. I don't know if I uh, am worthy of uh, using Excalibur here. I might mess yeah, something so up. you're going to go right in there. Right in there with the Yeah, and it should just kind of, it, and even if it falls in there, it's like, it, luckily it's like straight, so it should just kind of fall in the hole. Right. There you go. And then, get, and then you're going to screw until, basically screw until it stops. Sounds good. Am I going to the right or to the left with It's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, so you're going to go to the right. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. And it should just stop. Sandy. Hopefully. Is it going in? I think, oh, no, I need to fix it thing. Oh, it? Dropped in sideways, I think. Oh, OK. Wow, that thing is really yeah, handy. Yeah, this thing is actually really handy. Amazing. See what you can do. This is, by the way, guys, it's the next four hours of the show is just getting this one screw in. This might be the truth. <laughs> I, I'm getting fairly intimidated by this long this, screw. This long screwdriver? Yeah. Worthy challenge for example. Yeah, and the Excalibur. other two is honestly, it's like the best screwdriver we have for, for doing this part. All right, let's I think you uh, got it. I heard it sit. Like it sounded like it sat correctly. Oh, yeah, it looks like that one is good. Oh, good. Excellent. We've solved it, guys. Can we get some, can we get some uh, respect in the chat? He got it in. Four hours ahead of schedule. Four, yeah, four <laughs> hours ahead of schedule. We thought this was going to, that part alone was going to take hours. So only, uh, only what, seven more to go. Yep. Wow, so you do this every week. This is Three uh, times a week, live on stream. Harder than I thought. That's impressive. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I think I got that one in. Yeah, that one's, that was, you see, like now you're going to become pro. Soon it's going to be fan tech. 
Wow, that could like <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Yeah, it's not fan bad. Fantech. Yeah, there you go. It does. It's almost like fan like if you were like yeah, there's so many good so many. It is a very large screwdriver, guys. I have never seen one so large in my life. It yeah, is I wish massive. it was a little I was I wish it was a little bit more a little stronger from a magnetic standpoint, because that would make it a little bit easier for you. That's true. Yeah, it is definitely not the easiest one to kind of get the screw in there, but you are you are handling it like a like a like a chan, like a champ. Perhaps I was something never came yeah, Arthur in my previous life. Hey, Parlay thought of it. Actually, what, uh, that's exactly where my head went. Called it Fantastec. Oh, it's like a screw in here. Is this the same kind or a different one? Oh, where'd that screw come from? It was just like uh, lying over here randomly. Wow, weird. I wonder if... I'm just going to check. Yeah, that might have been from like just it was kind of sitting there. Oh, no. Yeah, no, all those screws are in there. It might have just fallen out when I was doing another test. I mean, yeah. when I was doing some of the other stuff. So I'll put this in the baggie for you. Sure. No big deal. All right, one more on the bottom here. Excalibur. Okay. Excalibur, you can do it. He's doing it, guys. Oh, there we go. Getting the hang of it. Should be good. Okay, now we're going to flip the case over. Okay. And you've got three more right up here. you got one. I've done that, so you got two more. So two more right up there. Two more, gotcha. One right there one and one there. right there. Okay. You're almost there. Yep. You've done so well. And I love how clean, like I like looking at this motherboard, guys. Just how clean the lines are with the rest of this case. It's it's it's, it's like they're made by the same brand. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You're getting it done. He's he's laser focused. I am. So would you say putting in the screws is harder or uh, easier than a game of Heroes of the Storm? Ah, uh, this is uh, far harder. This is, <laughs> games of Heroes of the Storm are uh, nothing compared to this. <laughs> Greatest challenge that I've faced for Greatest challenge that you've faced so far is just getting the screws in. Yep. One more at the end here. Yeah, this stream. I, well, guys, okay, it's not taking him that long. People are like, oh, the stream would almost be over if you had a normal screwdriver. This is not, he, he is not taking that long to put in the screws. Okay, there you go. That's good. Don't, don't over tighten it. Okay, gotcha. cool. So we're good there. Put those other screws back in here. Yep, sounds good. There we go. And then next up, what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to uh, hook up our front panel connectors. That's the next thing. So these are all of the, the things that are inside the case. Uh, that uh, So like your power button and all that sort of stuff is the stuff we're going to hook up now. So I'm going to oh, put okay. this like this. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to run all these connections real quick. Oh, boy, wires. Yes, wires. You do remember this from PC Build Camp. Uh, I remember a you tangled remember mess, uh, not much else. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I remember a lot of wires, Roby. <laughs> that, that I do remember. Yep. Okay, so first one we're going to run is our HD audio cable. That's going to run right here. So I'm just going to run these so we know how to hook them up. Yep. So that goes there. Um, USB 3.2 is going to go right. Oh, that's right. This one's on the side. So we're going to hook that one. That's going to go over here. That's okay. going to be interesting. That's going to be fun for you. Okay, front panel connector, that's going to go right here. And then we've got our USB-C. To loosen that a little bit here. That's going to actually go up here. And then we've got, our, we've got another USB. This is for your hub, for your RGB hub. That's going to also go... Yeah, we'll put it in right there. That looks good. Okay, so there's all of your front panel connections. Gotcha. So let's go ahead and put this down. Yep. <sighs> Just like that. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, here's the fun part. You get to start hooking this up. Right. Okay? So first one's your USB-C, and that's going to go right in that connection right there. Oh, boy. And it only goes in, like, kind of one way. Uh-huh. So, yeah, this just way, like that. Hopefully. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And then if it doesn't go that way, flip it around other and try way. the other way. There we'll you go. Okay. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, cool. Okay, next one. This one's kind of interesting. Oops. No worries. Oops. Fix that. Twist it a little bit. Did it click all the way in? I know it's a little bit bent, but that's not a big deal. Wires are always like that. Yep. Sometimes it's like the best thing to do is sometimes it'll, these will get twisted around. So let's fix that on the other side real quick. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, that. This is going to go actually just straight like that. Okay. And just might as well just do that since I'm right here. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Now, I still have the other cables uh -huh. semi sticking in here. Okay, cool. Pull these back through. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, oops. One left, but we'll grab that one later. Okay, so this is your front panel connector. This one's mm -hmm. going to go right here, just like that, right over that, that group of wires. Right over that group of wires. Yep. Okay. So on this one. Yep, just right on that group of wires. Oh. And it should, like, there's one that's filled, yeah, and it's going to go towards the far left. Okay. Perfect. There we go. That looks good. Okay, next one, this one. Right. This is going to go with the HD audio. That's going to go all the way to the right, mm -hmm. right onto this group of wires. Okay. Right here. Did you get it in? I believe so, yeah. Okay, cool. And then the last one, the one that was being tricky, which shouldn't have been, is right here. Okay. okay, USB 2. So this one's going to go right into here, into that group, into that little box right there. Into that box. Got yep. it. There's uh, so many of these things. How do you know which one goes into Just which? Just a lot of practice. Got it. Knowing exactly where things go. So this one. Oh. Could, it go, could it be the other way? Yeah, it should just go right with the USB facing up. It work? Yep, looks like it's going in. Cool. Let me give it a gander. There you go. And that is good. Okay, so that is all of your front panel connections are connected. Excellent. And you are good to go there. That is in. That is in. Okay. Actually, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now at this point in time we got all our front panel connections. We're getting ready to start our AIO. But why don't we take a quick uh, five minute break? Uh, take a quick break, and then we'll be back in just a short period of time. See you guys in just a few minutes. Yep. I think there's really something special about where you come from and what your family gave to you. And something that my family has given to me is my palate. When I make a latte for somebody, it's something I really care about. It's something I made from my own palate that my family passed down to me. And I'm able to serve that to the community in a way that makes them feel loved, that makes them feel cared for. And it's really special. It is. It makes my job worthwhile. It's really just utilizing all of the gifts that my ancestors gave to me and serving that to make people feel cared for. My name is Erica Escalante and I'm the owner of Cafe Reina. I'm a barista, a baker, a mommy, and a gamer. I was born in Temecula, California. I come from a Latin family. My dad's family is from El Salvador and that is really important to my upbringing and my culture. I have always loved playing games. So every few Christmases, my family would all pitch in together and make sure we got a new console for Christmas. You know, it was really special because even from a young age, we knew that my parents really couldn't afford that and that it was a gift from many different family members and that they all pitched in so that we could have a gaming console. Hold on, let me make sure this isn't too much coffee for this. You got it? Okay. I've loved coffee for a long time. I remember drinking coffee at home with my mom with cream and sugar and then as I got to be a teenager, we would go to the Starbucks and it was really expensive, and so we could only go every once in a while, but man, I was hooked. I thought it was the coolest place. And so right after high school, the first place I went to apply was at Starbucks. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. What do you think? Wow, look at the cake. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so after high school, I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford to go to college. My parents helped me find an internship with an old friend of theirs up here in Portland, Oregon. It was a lot of kids and a lot of older people, but there wasn't a lot of people my age except for 
one person and his name is Trevor. He's kind of like a quiet, nerdy, nice guy. And something I really loved about Trevor was he really liked playing games. And it's just really sweet when you find someone who has the same level of gamer that you do. And our level of gaming seems to match each other. And that's just really special and sweet. Okay, you're supposed to go down now. No? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, now okay. you can go. Oh, I see, I see. I'll slide down Walter, here. Right? No, okay. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you have to jump over, right? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Okay. You, you let me go down this All right. We'll show you our wedding cake right here. Settlers of Catan was on the bottom, it which was is a, a board game. This is a cake. What father of the groom wears a short sleeve collared button up to a <laughs> that, wedding? See, to me, that's like the most endearing thing that he could have worn. Oh I love God. that. We look so different, don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that funny? I like myself more now. Yeah, I like myself more now, too. <laughs> Conchas. Vegan conchas. I found a job near the small church that I attended, and it was a small Hawaiian tiki themed coffee shop. A couple of years went by, and the owners were working other jobs, and they just really needed to be done running the coffee shop. They asked me, like, hey, are you interested in taking over this coffee shop because we're done? I said yes. I was 21 years old. Trevor and I had just gotten married two months prior. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. So. You know, the cafe has always been my thing. It's not really been Trevor's thing, but I have just needed so much help. And so even when we first got started, I would train Trevor as a barista and get him behind the bar to help me out. And he has worked throughout this company many, many, many days. <laughs> and so even now, he'll come and help on the weekends. If we're short staffed or we just need an extra hand, he'll be here to help me bake to a barista, to work the register, whatever I need. He's always been willing and available to help. I was able to expand into Portland into a bigger shop. And eventually as I grew older, my business also kind of matured and created its own identity as Cafe Rina. It means coffee queen in Spanish. And I'm really, really proud of the brand. I'm really proud of our vibes. I really understood as I got older how sweet my heritage is, and I was able to infuse that into what we do here in the cafe. I love it, people love it, and it's just fun to show off my family heritage. You know, as the years gone on and our family has grown, we have two kids now, we still love to game together. We still take time every evening almost to play games. Now our kids are getting into gaming too, our oldest loves to play video games with us and I'm sure our youngest would too. She loves to watch while we play. The pandemic was obviously really hard for kids because they couldn't go to school and they couldn't play with their friends. So Julie would call or FaceTime her friends or her cousins, even from out of state, and they would log on together and play Minecraft together for a really long time and spend time together that way. It was really, really fun. We have a Predator Triton 500. It's really awesome for gaming. And what's great about it is that we can all game at the same time now. So if I'm playing on the console, Trevor's on his computer, we still have another option to kind of either play together or two can play together and one can play their own thing. Um, but it just gives us a lot of options for what we can do and, and how we can spend time together. I haven't played a lot of Destiny, but now it's really nice when Trevor wants to play that, that I can play it side by side with him using the laptop. It's super nice that the laptop has all the power of a desktop, but then it's mobile, so it's great for work stuff. I definitely use it for like accounting purposes and all the different graphic design you have to do for a business, so menu, signage, all the different things. It works really great with all that. As I've been raising the kids, I've just realized how important community and culture is to me and how important it is to teach them about their place in the world. And so it's been really important for them to know their extended family, to be around them, to learn from them, to be loved by them. 
And so we made the hard decision that it's time for us to move back to Southern California. You know, as proud as I am to create this business and to create Cafe Reina, what's most important really is for us to be with our family and raise the girls in the culture. Man. I think I'm most proud of creating that place that I loved when I was a teenager, like creating that sense of belonging for other people and for myself. When I was a teenager, I wanted friends, I wanted connection, and the coffee shop gave that to me. And so now it's like, I'm giving that to others. I've been in LA for a couple months now. I'm getting settled in and I'm having a great time. I am loving being back. It's been really great to be back in the sunshine and being able to reconnect with friends and family and honestly just to have time to myself. I am the head of retail for a coffee company here in LA. My job is basically to create a roadmap for them to open up their first retail location and then more retail locations down the line. The kids aren't here yet. My oldest wanted to finish out the school year, which is totally fair. We've just been finding ways to connect, which has been fun to play video games together and spend time together that way. Cafe owning to a lot of people seems like a dream, and it was my dream for a very long time, but my dreams have changed. I'm just really proud of myself for having the courage to change directions and pivot according to what I wanted in life and what I thought was best for me and my family. Someone once told me, if your girls were in the same position, what would you tell them to do? What advice would you give them? And so when it comes to making these really big decisions where it feels maybe a little selfish even, it's like, what would I tell my girls to do? And I would tell my girls that it's okay to change, it's okay to pivot, and it's okay to have new dreams. And we don't necessarily need to worry about the sunken cost of the time that we've already put into it. If you're ready for a change, then, then you should make the change. And we are back, guys. We, uh, we are just making sure that we, we, are, we are hydrated, we are focused, and uh, I am stoked to uh, continue. So what we're going to do now is you can pick, to pick this up and actually set it off to the, on the floor okay. if you want. Yep. Getting you used to lifting your PC. Oh, yeah. It's just like this? Uh, no, st just set yeah, it up. Like standing up. Yeah, gotcha. there you go. Okay, and then <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab that long box right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put your... Your AIO this together. One. Yep, that one right there. Cool. Okay. Now comes the fun part. We're going to put all your fans and all that stuff together. Awesome. So this is your cooler right here. You can go ahead and remove that stuff from the bag if you want. That oh, will do. There's a bunch of me's over here. Yep. I'm going to grab the stuff that I know we need. That is all stuff we don't. Well, we need these right here. Go. Is that put these in the box? Yep, that'd be great. Cool. Okay. There's that. I'm going to go ahead and just temporarily stick all your st other stuff over there. And Mark. then move this. Okay, so there is everything you need for your AIO. Oh, Kay. my. So what we're going to do is we're going to install it this way. Okay. Into your case. So I just want to make sure that we have the fans going in the right direction, which is like so. Ah, so this goes like uh, on top? Yep, this goes, this will actually go under, at the very top, yep. Gotcha. So why don't, I'm going to place these down like this. And then we're going to grab our screws. Oh, more get, screws. Yeah, a lot, yeah. <laughs> welcome. Yeah, one Excalibur thing, time. One thing that, yeah, wait, you definitely have Excalibur time. So what I'm going to do is get these kind of started. Yep. There we go. Kind of feel it go in there. Perfect. Same thing on this side. And then what this does is then you can come behind me with Excalibur. Yeah. And uh, well, do. we'll do the other parts there. I mean, once we get these done, then you'll, but like you said, in this case, you're going to be doing 12 screws. So, right. But these, these are pretty straightforward screws. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. 
Yeah, should be fine. I mean, with this uh, Excalibur, I feel <laughs> I feel pretty confident with the screws at this point. What would you What would you consider the uh, the closest? Like, if any hero in Heroes of the Storm was uh, was going to wield that one, which that that hero, which uh, that weapon, which one do you think it would be? Maybe uh, Varian. You know, Varian. He's got yeah. a big sword sometimes. Just that, that, that's good. That's oh, good. That's We're good. just yep. right into right into the uh, into the rubber, not too crazy past it. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, Varian does have a big sword. I forgot that he was actually in Heroes. That's good. Yep. Yeah. His, is Anduin in that, too? Does And Yeah, Anduin's there. Anduin's in there, too. Yep. You got all kinds of uh, Blizzard uh, mainstream characters in Heroes. And then this one right here. And then that, the ones, there are Heroes, right? It wasn't Stitches. Stitches was one that you controlled by two players, isn't it? Uh, that's uh, Chogal, actually. Oh, Chogal, yeah, that's controlled right. Controlled by two players. Yeah. And then you can go and do these two. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and have you do the other ones. Yeah, and so it's, yeah, it's, it's, what's, have you played that character? Do you have a person that you play that with uh, when you do play? Yeah, from time to time. I mean, I, I'll play it with multiple people, but it's always a wild adventure. Nothing like two character or two people controlling one character in a MOBA. That's, yeah, that's got to be, like, what did you think about that when that got, actually got announced? Oh, uh, it's, you know, it's crazy, but it's the go. good, good kind of crazy. It's fun. Yeah, you enjoy it? Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pop this in. And then I remember, yeah, and then, like, uh, like, I re like it's funny, because I think when I was at the time, like, we had a lot of people who really enjoyed playing Stitches. Um, do you, are you, like, uh, do you have, like, a favorite class of character that you like to play, or, like, you more like a tank guy, DPS? Like, if you got to, if you could just choose, do you have one that you enjoy yeah, I would probably say I'm more of an assassin guy. I like the ones that do a lot of damage and uh, have a lot of mobility. You're good there. Yeah. there you go. Awesome. But Those I do are end your up, favorite ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I do end up playing all kinds of characters. I do uh, donation requests on my stream where people oh, really? just, you know, they want me to play a character, they do a dono request for any character. Cool. I end up playing all of them. Which is fun. Yep. <clears throat> well, so when, is, when are your streams typically? Uh, I stream pretty much every day, except Wednesdays usually, okay. even though today is Wednesday, uh, from about 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, so you get about five hours a day. Right. And then um, you, you used to play competitively. Like you said, you were actually a world, championship at, a world champion at one point in time. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay. What was, that, what, was that, what was that grind like, like getting to world champion? And that was the world championships were at BlizzCon, weren't they? Yeah, that's correct. They were at BlizzCon. It's uh, it's quite a grind. I used to uh, play a lot more even back in those days. I mean, it was it was up to twelve hours every single day, no breaks of uh, just play, raw heroes play. of the storm action. And then, do you do you did you enjoy that, or are you kind of glad that your that part of your life's kind of over? It's about half and half, you know. I, I feel good. like all hyper-competitive people kind of miss competition once they're no longer competing. Uh, but at the same time, there's a ton of stress involved with competing right. at the highest level. So you miss it, but at the same time, you're glad there's no more stress, that kind of thing. So what year, were you, what year was it when you actually ended up getting your championship? Uh, for the BlizzCon, it was uh, 2015. But, you're uh, good right there. Oh, nice. Cool. It was 2015. That's so I'm trying correct. to think of. I'm trying to think of if I was at that one because, like, I always watch the World Championship. So there's like a chance. Little do I know that there's a chance that I watched you win. It's possible. We yeah. were rocking uh, Murky and Abathurs and stuff. Uh, it was it was one of the most popular years. I think the hall for BlizzCon Heroes of the Storm was uh, so packed, like people couldn't even get in anymore. Yeah, I remember. I I just remember it's like. I just remember, I mean, every BlizzCon, right? Like, it's, they're always fun to watch. Yeah, for um, sure. And so, uh, and I just love Heroes of the Storm. I love Heroes of the Storm esports. It was just, it was easy to follow for right. a lot of, you know, and Dota usually really is. Like, people kind of get it. It's like, oh, okay, there's some objective. It's pretty straightforward. So, that's pretty awesome that I, I think that it, I watched you live. And then here I am helping you build a PC, which yeah, is pretty crazy. I mean, I'm very thoroughly impressed with how knowledgeable <laughs> you are about Heroes of the Storm. Honestly, it's not something that everyone's uh, super knowledgeable yeah, in. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do... These are the daisy chaining. We're daisy chaining your essentially your fans together. So this is... See where it says in and in and then out and out? Right. So you're going to plug the in into the in and the out into the out. In into the out and out into the in. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's yeah. going to work. That's going to work perfectly. <laughs> you, you're, that's right. You said it doesn't have to work necessarily. You that's said you're okay true. with it. 
So what made you get into streaming? Like, was it just something you were like, oh, I've won an, uh, a championship now, I'm just going to stream? Or was it just something that you had ever planned on doing? Yeah, it was kind of uh, the first one that you said there. It was uh, after winning. A lot of people kind of encouraged me to start streaming. They wanted to see my point of view. Uh, so I was like, sure, it, why not? You got to give it a good push. It's like the oh, okay. clicks, clicks in there. Okay. Is it, is it clicking? There it goes. Okay. Okay. There you go. Out's a little bit easier. The in is like kind of finicky. Yeah, it's it's one of those things like a lot of people um, like to watch. I mean, because it's like high performance gameplay, right? Which is always like interesting. Yeah, in for terms sure. of getting to watch that stuff. Um, yep. Have you uh, like you you've been starting to get into like other games though, right? Was that intentional or is it just like have you always played other games just because I, I i don't know a little bit of both i mean i just i i love basically every multiplayer uh pvp kind of game i just like competing in general especially in esports so yeah i'm just always you're, you're playing always all kinds of yeah competitive games always down but you still the majority of your stuff is always heroes of the storm and i'll let you plug in the out that's correct thank you majority of it is heroes of the storm do you see that changing or no it always depends. I mean, it, it could potentially change if I find... Like, the thing is, Heroes of the Storm for me is still an extremely fun game. A lot of people love watching me play it. So if I find, you know, another game that's just better in every aspect, just absolutely amazing, it's always possible. Okay. And I noticed, like, we, we, we've noticed, or you and I have talked a little bit already okay, about the, the latest kind of passion play has been Team Fight Tactics, right? right? What is it about Team Fight Tactics that you enjoy in that regard? Um, you know, I, I think the auto chess genre in general just is really fun and holds a lot of appeal for people. Every game is different. You never know what's going to happen. Try to build your best team and just watch them automatically fight. Something There's something just enjoyable about it, you know? And then from a stream standpoint, I remember, so I, we did a build, we were at PAX East and we did a build with, um, we actually did a build with Boxbox. Oh. And Boxbox was saying like one of the things he enjoys about MOBAs and Battle Royales, because he's a league player. Right. Uh, and then also uh, games like Team Fight Tactics is that every game is different. So even for the viewers, I think, and I'd love to see chat kind of uh, uh, chime in on this. Um, even the viewers, it's not like you get bored because the experience is different no matter every time you play. You might play a different comp with this one, like uh, versus, um, you know, or like, uh, even what's the other team you're going to play is going to have a different strategy in a MOBO. And in the case of um, Heroes of the Storm, the whole map oh, yeah. uh, could be very, very different, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I play so many PvP games. It's like almost infinite replayability for so many of these genres. Yeah. Right. Um, what did your when you when you grew up when you started when you were a youngling and you were like just starting out before you got competitive? What did you think you were going to be? You're going to be like a doctor? You're going to be a, I don't know, a garbage man? Like, what What was the plan for a for little fan? <laughs> you know, little fan, uh, I mean, like I said, I started playing games at a very young age, maybe three, four years old. Oh, okay, okay. It, wow, to, yeah. to, If you were my parents, you know, the plan was probably <laughs> the traditional Asian route. Asian, <laughs> doctor, lawyer, you know, banker, that right. kind of thing. Uh, but if you were a little fan, I always was, ever since I learned that people could play pro gaming and you could actually make a career out of playing games. Uh, that was kind of just al always my dream ever since I was That's little. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. So did you ever go to university or anything like that or no? Yeah, I did. I, uh, I went to UC Berkeley, graduated with a degree in economics. And um, I, I always feel like it was uh, possibly my biggest mistake, actually, because I was really big into Dota at that time. And I was playing with a lot of the former Dota players that ended up winning internationals and stuff like that. So yeah, which that's big money. Yeah, like, regardless yeah. of whatever it was. I always tell my chat going to college cost me millions. I'm telling you guys <laughs> cost me millions. Well, I don't know. It's interesting, though, because a degree in economics, there's a lot of math oh, yeah. in the games that you play, right? And That's so true. And the only two is that there's probably some things that you got out of university that actually might just subconsciously be helping you. Of course. It was, uh, I, you know, I'm not saying it, it was a good time. Yeah, it, it was still a good time. Man, Ber and Berkeley's a good school, right? Like, yeah. It's so funny. Like, I've, I've, I've heard people joke, but like, yeah, that's a that's a great school to get a, to, to have a degree in. Um, do you think games are going to be it? You think you'll ever get into economics at any point in time or no? Um, you're well, like, 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do like watch the uh, stock market on, in my free time. Right. So I don't know, like that's not really directly economics, but you know, I, I do follow a lot of stuff like that in my free time. So I, I, I think it half counts. I like, I like how you said in my free, in my free time, I watch Stranger Things. So in your free time, you watch the stock market. <laughs> it's probably the same thing, stock markets right now. It's, it's, a, it's a jump it is, scare either way. Yeah, you exactly. Know? It's a jump scare either way. That's pretty true, uh, for sure. Um, so. Uh, I'd love to know, and, and this is a question because, like, I think it's great, uh, you know, like one of the, the things that I've, uh, as I've been jumping into TFT and learning is a game like Teamfight Tactics, right, where yep. it's all about compositions of heroes and all that sort of stuff. How did you go about learning how to play the game? Well, you know, at first I tried just figuring everything out for myself, and uh, that was terrible. It didn't work at all. Was, uh, I, could, I quickly realized I was not good at the game. So generally what I try to do when I try to learn new games and be good at them is I just watch the best players, and then I just copy the best players. I just always, and this is what I tell people who try to learn HOTS. Uh, they ask me, how do I get better? I always tell them, you know, just watch someone that's really good. You know they're really good. They have a really good foundation. Copy everything they do. Copy their foundation. And then once you feel confident, then you can start branching out and making your own choices. Well, I think, I think that's a great, that's a great, like, practice like it's great verbal and practice but like for instance i went and wa i watched like the, the dragon party which was like the the latest uh latest esport competition right. where I, and you like fantastic gameplay still had no idea what the heck was happening <laughs> right because i mean like a lot happens in each individual round right, so how yeah. is it are you like are you using like mobilytics are you doing other things in terms of trying to figure out comps or like what like because i mean like, again there's like you know oh i might like at stage four one like level up to level three or whatever it was like what is right. it how did you build that repertoire and then learning how all of those pieces move together you think that was uc berkeley or do you think it was what what do you think I think it's a mix of both. Like I said, and you know, I started watching some of the famous streamers in Teamfight Tactics. Maybe your uh, K3 Sojus or Kiyuns. I actually played against them in some Twitch tournaments and other oh, games as okay. well, uh, which is where I learned of them. And uh, yeah, you know, they kind of express their thoughts on stream. They're like, oh, mages are terrible this patch, you know, right. Keck W, uh, stuff like that. And then I'm like, oh, OK, I'm not going mages anymore. And <laughs> you go from there. Do you remember that? Yeah, that, what was it? What was her, the big nerf on? Uh, oh, who was it? Uh, what? Nobody knows. Okay, so somebody said there was a there was a there was a big oh not not Navi Navi wasn't that yeah I think it was yeah Navi? yeah I think it was yeah sorry there was a big nerf right before the uh, right before the um, uh, the the dragon party to uh -huh. one of them and it was like the it was like she was like probably the biggest S tier I mean she was a, I mean it was basically a, a, uh, a Nami yeah, yeah Nami, Nami reroll it was yeah, a Nami yeah, reroll yeah. thing and then, then like a lot of people were playing mage at that point in time, right, right? right so it's just funny hearing you say that stuff yeah um, okay so what we're gonna do now is your thing is your uh, your uh, uh, AIO is ready to install at this point in time so we're gonna have awesome. you mount it Okay. And so I'm just going to get this kind of placed in here. I'm and then what I'm going to have you do is I'm not going to make you do this with, uh, with Excalibur. Because gotcha. I'm not that mean. I'm going to have you use this screwdriver right here. Oh, I'm pretty and good at mounting in HOTS, but I don't know about in real yeah, life. Yeah, real life. There you go right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a screw. Okay. And then there's screws at the very top. And so what, go ahead and put one there. And then I'm gonna have you come and put another one like a little bit closer here, but go ahead and put one right in that hole right there. There, okay. Yep. All of these screwdrivers are kind of magnetic too, huh? Yeah, this, that, this a, one's a nice one. That's a that's a, a great that's yeah. a great. Uh, I love I love the um, I love the iFixit uh, screwdrivers. Yeah, these are game changers. This is yeah. nice. It's way, you're like after after using a caliber, you're like, wait, this is way easier. <laughs> Okay, there we go, right there. Okay, so we've basically got all I've done is I've got it so it sticks, right? So this right. is this is how it's going to sit. We got a couple more cables. I'm just going to make sure we can get up. Oh yeah, this I love how easy this this case is to build in. So we're going to go ahead and grab our extra cables that go with this. Sounds good. Which is this, and we're going to grab this one. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's just like and and how much. Like, so, you know, it's uh, like, what level, what rank level are you in uh, uh, TFT right now? Uh, right now, I think I'm uh, Hardstuck Diamond 2 or something. Okay. It's like, yeah, top 
a thousand or something. I'm trying to break into top 200 so I can say I'm a grandmaster in both games, but uh, <laughs> not having much luck. Not having much luck. Yeah. So how, like, what what would you say, like, when you first started playing set seven, like, how long do you think it took you? To, how many games till you got to diamond? Do you think? Oh gosh, uh, maybe over 100, 150. I, I I basically you know played it every spare moment that I was not streaming. Oh kind really? Of thing. Okay. Yeah. So it was like basically. I'm, so why not stream? Like like do you 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 have games? What why, what's the purpose for playing games? Not on stream. Uh, well, you know, I started streaming as a pro gamer kind of thing, and I'm, I'm, I always have like a philosophy on streaming. It's like one, you need to be the best in your field, or two, you need to be, uh, you know, the funniest thing on earth. And I don't know <laughs> if I'm the funniest thing on earth, so you're pretty funny. You're pretty uh, funny. I'm glad to hear yeah. that. That's that's promising. It's probably some uh, streamer practice coming <laughs> off. But yeah, I mean, basically, I just I don't think I'm very good, and I want to like you know kind of get it down before I start doing stuff like so that. So you feel like. TFT will eventually be part of your streaming rotation at some point. It may possibly, possibly, yeah, if yeah. people like seeing it. Okay, cool. Okay, so what I have you do here? So this cable is going to go right into that spot right there. Gotcha. There you go. And I'll, I'll just hold it for. Oh, you know. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. It's gonna. And then you're just gonna give it, it. You can see there's like little little like rails on the side. You just want to make sure it goes straight, and then it should straight go in. right in. Yep. Okay. There we go. Keep it in. Yeah. Let me give it a little check here. This is the one thing where it's just practice, just knowing. Okay, that's nice and solid. Good job. Awesome. And then this is just like a normal USB cable. Uh -huh. You're used to that. That just goes right in there. Yeah. Okay. I've seen this. Yeah, it's on my phone. Yeah, that, that one's easier. You're like, oh, okay, that's there we go. <laughs> the first connection is like, <clears throat> looks normal, Roby. And should just go there in. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to, I think for the last thing that you'll be a part of, and then after this, it just comes about cable management. Gotcha. Is I'm going to have you, uh, we'll actually have you mount this onto the CPU. But because okay. we actually used thermal paste uh -huh. and we put our own on, we're right. going to remove the thermal paste that's on this bad boy right now. So okay. I'm going to pop this over and give ourselves lots of room here to go for that. And it's, it's funny because like I... I am learning the heroes like in uh, TFT, just like I like I. I mean, the ones in Blizzard are easy. Are, sorry, in Heroes of the Storm because I'm a huge Blizzard fan. I read all the books, right? Like, you know, yeah, and yeah. so it's like, oh, I know who all these people are, right? Because I I played the games, right? Um, and for Heroes of the Storm, I mean, for uh, TFT, it's like. Oh, yeah, I have no idea why that person is named, you know, X, Y, or Z. Oh, um, yeah, I, so, I had the same problem, just uh, <laughs> all new characters, flashy colors everywhere, yeah, no idea what's happening. What, uh, yeah, no idea what's happening. But, like, it's like, I think I sometimes, like, and I, and I think this is kind of what you were alluding to, is, like, I don't want to come off as somebody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, right? So it's like, I was, I was right. It was like, it was Nami, right? Like, that's what right. I was saying, but it's like, but it, what, was it Nami? Like, am I saying <laughs> yeah. the right name? And so you kind of feel like you don't want to, you don't want to sit there and uh, do that. Now, I've been, I have been learning, um, I've been learning TFT while on stream. And oh. so uh, people have, uh, I've, luckily, there have been a lot of people who've jumped in and I've got to meet some people who are like, oh, this is what you do and this is what you do, which has helped. Oh, yeah. But, Backseat coaches on Twitch and YouTube. It's, it is a good way to learn. <laughs> it though. is. Yeah. It is. Sometimes they're giving you the wrong information, and then <laughs> I watch. True. I watch them argue about it on the stream, and you're like, okay, this isn't helping me. Um, but uh, I think what I'd like to do is like I, uh, one day I'd like, and I and I uh, have a couple friends of mine who are diamond as well, and I was like, look, I just want you to like sit next to me for like 12 hours, and then play and just tell me, oh yeah, so I can learn do it that way, right? Yeah, exactly. And I will pay you money. Because then I will be a pro TFT player. That's true. That's what you need, hey, right? 12 hour coaching session 12. and you're good. Yeah, it's like, uh, who is it that I was talking to? Uh, 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 nothing, like nothing actually does coaching. You right. know, there are other pros like yeah. yourself who would be like, oh, I want to learn more about Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. I will pay you to help me be better at it, right? Not necessarily, but um, go from there. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever done anything like that? Uh, very rarely, but time to time I have, okay. yes. Okay, we're just going to clear this off. Okay, okay. so. Here's the fun part, kind of the last thing that you'll do, because you, at that point in time, you'll have done all the fun bits of the, of the install. Right. So I'm going to hold these up. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to place this over the four. You see how there's four pegs? Yes. You're just going to place each peg. Then you're going to take these screws and put those on top of it. OK? OK. Place it over the pegs. Place and it then... over the pegs, and then, and then just kind of like start each one. Don't worry about screwing all the way down. Oh. Oh. Yep, there you go. Okay. Two. Might have to push this a little bit over, but it, it does fit this way. Like this. OK. 
Okay. Oh. Not quite there. There you go. Okay, cool. Nice. Now, taking your... I'll hold this down for you. Go Thank ahead and take you. your little bits right there and then yep. start... Screw, now, don't screw them all the way down uh -huh. at the beginning. Just get them started on each corner. Okay. I'll get out of your way there. Oh, no worries. Oops. Hold and, on. Yeah, and sometimes you could, I mean, sometimes you just use your fingers because they're big thumb screws if it's easier. Oh, never mind. You did it easily. There you go. Cool. I like that. And then just go ahead and do the other, get the other and ones on. You said don't get them don't too go, tight? Don't get them too tight, yeah. Okay. Because then they'll lift up on the other sides. Here, I'll do this to help you there. Oh, thanks. It's got the last, the last big thing to hook up. Yep. This is the... This is the cooling cool system. Yeah, this is the cooling system for the CPU. Gotcha. Wow, it just goes directly over it. It's cool. Yep. Sits in that cooling, and now you've got that really quality thermal paste job that we did. Backwards? Oh, you're doing oh, it backwards. backwards. That would yeah, make that just, sense. Why, like, is, why is this in? not working? Yeah. The other one went on so easily. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Let me go ahead and grab the top two now. Yep. There we go. do that first yeah once you get that once you get this one on it like kind of it kind of gets trapped at that point in time all right there we go cool. you can go just do the other one and this one can be tricky let me know if we need to remove this here yeah Let's that might need to remove that yeah. a little it's just right in the way yeah pro level strats right here guys pro level strats this is definitely pro level PC if you, building. I will tell you this: if you've never seen Heroes of the Storm, there's a good chance after you watch him play, which is coming up in the next 10, 15 minutes, that you will become a fan of the game because the game is actually really approachable. And oh, like absolutely. I said, it's it's actually very easy to learn but hard to master, right? right? And the other thing too is I feel like the map, like the way that the maps play such a bigger role in that game, oh, actually yeah. makes it a lot of fun. So it is. <clears throat> every time you might get a new rotation, like oh, I love this map. I, I don't know if they sell the ghost pirate ships and all that sort of stuff. They do with the cannons. Yep. Yeah. So I know some of those things move out of rotation. Are they? Uh, what is the kind of support that Blizzard's uh, got in the game right now? Like, are they still updating stuff at all, or no? Is it pretty much? Yeah, they have uh, balance patches and new content patches. Not as frequently as before, but they still have uh, oh, really? yeah, okay. balancing new content. Not so much uh, new maps, but or uh, and the heroes is kind of slow, but you get all kinds of balance shakeups, and the meta still feels fresh from all kinds of balance changes. Oh, well, that's good. Yep. Oh, so there's still, like, no, there's a reason that you, because it's like, oh, you'll actually see some pretty big meta changes. Right, right, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys, well, we are at the point now where we are going to go let uh, Fan get in on his. Like, So what did you think before we jump, we break here? What did you think of the process getting here? Well, it was uh, it was actually easier than I thought. The, you're right. The case makes everything a lot easier. Actually, you probably make things a lot easier. I have no idea. Like, I could never have done this anywhere close if uh, I didn't have pinpoint instructions so thank you for that well you're welcome and how, how how do you think it's how do you think it's looking so far it looks great everything looks really clean and uh i'm excited okay yeah well the guys we're going to take another short break uh we're going to go ahead and let fan go get set up to play some heroes of the storm um and then uh we're gonna what's the way it's going to happen is you're going to be able to see both of us you're going to be able to see me playing the game uh building the pc you're going to see him playing the game we're going to be talking and uh when we're all said and done we'll have a completed pc and uh what, what, three or four W's, you think? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys very soon after the break.
series is tied two to two. We will go into a game five here in these grand finals at the International 10. I'm joined by BSJ. I've spent the last 10 years always being told by doctors, hey, after this next procedure, everything's going to go back to normal. You're going to be normal. You're going to have a normal life. For this, I get tickets. I fly here. I'm going to finally be able to do one of my greatest passions, which is go to the International, go see Dota 2. It's ecstatic. My name is Dor Shaptai. Uh, I go by Kitty online and I love Dota. I've been playing it for nearly half my life. I was born in Israel. 12 years later, my parents divorced. My mom took me and my sister to America, so we moved there. I lived in Arizona for about 14 years. And last year, on the uh, 1st of January, 2020, I did an Aliyah back to Israel. I'm living there now by myself. When I was growing up, caring about your education was super important. So that was essentially my life. And I put a lot of effort into it. Got very good scholarships for school. I was studying to be a mechanical engineer. It was very stressful. I started to notice blood when I would go to the bathroom and it progressed. And that was essentially the beginning of 10 years of being fairly miserable and in pain. I've been playing Dota since Warcraft 3. At the moment, I'm a 6K MMR on the dot, over 18,000 hours in Dota. 18,000 hours is an obscene amount, and that is not necessarily by choice. I've spent a lot of time in the hospital bed, and when my family wasn't there, when my girlfriend at the time wasn't there, I had Dota, and that kept my mind off of the pain and focused on the game. My girlfriend at the time, Sarah, she got tickets to TI-5. I mean, she's like, we're going to Seattle, and you're going to the International, and I was like, I'm, ha, ha, what? The experience itself was just amazing. I got to actually hang out with Universe's dad. I met him by complete chance. It was the finals where Universe got the $6 million Echo Slam on Earthshaker at the, the Roche Pit fight. Here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! in the arena at the time was just mind-boggling and the experience as a whole was one of my most memorable. It was the first time in nearly half a decade that I got to feel like a normal person. Your life's not over, the world's not ending, you'll make it through this and you'll be able to experience more of this in the future. This year's probably the only TI that I'll be able to attend for a very long time. And it's not just happening in Bucharest, it's happening in Arena Nacionala. We're currently sitting 200 meters away from in my grandparents' home. I don't have the financial stability or capacity to travel and rent out a room in a hotel for a couple of days or weeks and pay for food and all that kind of stuff. This was easily the most fortunate of circumstances. And I posted a picture saying, the banners are up, it's happening. Literally 18 hours later, I wake up to find out that the event is canceled for the general public. And it just, it just crushed me. I'm just trolling through Reddit, trying to see if there's any other similar reactions. But there was one that caught my eye. It was this event. Thank you very much, Sumi. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of the International 10. Team Spirit up against PSG LGD Insania. It's a pleasure to have you by my side once again. My name is Ivan Pedner, but my handle is Chednar. I knew I was going to TI. I, I didn't hope for it. I knew I was going to it. And then suddenly the news hit me that it was canceled. Yes, I said like, okay, I'm not going to give up yet. I decided to make the most out of the situation, make something positive out of it. I'm Jay, I'm the CEO of OG Esports. And I saw a kid saying, hey, we're putting this together, I'm thinking of doing this, and I messaged him. And I said, dude, that's amazing. Yeah, we would love to help you and participate, and obviously we would like to come as well, you know? 
OG is my favorite team in Dota 2. When your favorite team contacts you and tells you, I love your idea, I love the initiative, I love the passion behind it, it's amazing. The song ends, Toronto Tokyo, PKB up, jump over with the remnant, grabs back the answer, Arme disappears in a matter of seconds, GQ to fall as well, GG is called! Now, I love these for exactly what you're doing. You can hear them chant, you can hear small orcs and small teams with no orcs. Having people like this is amazing. For us, I think Dota was a grassroots community and it started because of it, because fans were very passionate. So shout out to everybody that continued to participate and that loves this game as much as we love it. And we ended up coming here about a week before the main stage game started and we got it working. Everyone's vaccinated, we're making sure that people show proof of vaccination. At this point we're just enjoying the finals. The grand finals are currently ongoing. I'm looking forward to getting back in there. Collapse going to TP oh, out but no. it's not going to happen. Collapse will go down Toronto and that Tokyo. fight doesn't work. Toronto Tokyo pulled back in, refraction gone. The chase down happens yet again. Mira hoping to salvage this but it's not going to happen one by one. All of spirit go by the wayside. They all fall again as GG has fallen 23 to 3. A statement from LGD. Thank you very much, Sumi. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the deciding game five here at the TI10 Grand Finals. Team Spirit against PSG LGD. He's going to have to spend gold in the next region. They're going for him early on here with the three of them. Slider Fist comes out as they're looking to turn on the method to say they get him. Jump forward with the remnant. He's looking for more. Trying to take him with the chains. It's not the same from being in a crowd of thousands or tens of thousands. Here, you actually get to make connections with people. So I've met dozens of people that I'm sure that I will play with online very frequently and I will talk with for years to come. All these other people that are here that essentially I know by name now that I never would have run to these people had I been in the arena. And most people say, I went to TI. It's another story when you say, TI was canceled, we still made TI happen. Now that at least in Israel things are slowly opening back up and physically I'm getting a bit better, I thought to myself, well, I'm going to be going around, I'll be going to school, and afterwards maybe I'll go over to friends' houses and, and play with them. I needed something portable because up until now I've literally been lugging around my PC. I looked around and I found the Triton 500 SE. I can run Dota anywhere maximum settings, no problems whatsoever. But it's also allowed me a chance to revisit some games that I used to play on my home PC. I reinstalled and I'm thoroughly enjoying all over again, uh, Metro Exodus and Doom Eternal and all these kind of games that now I can actually utilize RTX on. Lighting effects and the textures and the reflections on water surfaces, it is just absolutely breathtaking. Well, you haven't been here since I think that we left to the United States, yeah, which was in 2005. It's a long time ago. I know. We that. have pictures somewhere up in the mountain. It was really snowy, and I have pictures of you. You are like all bundled up and barely moving. What's the movie with the, the kid? Christmas the, Story. Yeah, Christmas Story, where the little one, kid is yeah, just... This is one of our traditions. Every year we watch the Christmas Story before yeah. Christmas. Without my family, there's no way that I, I would be here right now. And also, other, other than the physical aid, obviously, the, the mental and emotional support of them, just being around me and holding my hand. 
my mom, my dad, and my step parents as well, my two brothers, my uh, little sister, and obviously my grandparents, of course. There's no one like family that you could do that with. And obviously all my Dota friends as well. You know, even outside of immediate family, these people have spent so much time with me over the last decade, these people that I've met thanks to this game. It was a culmination of all these things that essentially brought me to where I am today. I wouldn't be here without all of these things combined. I, for the first time in a long time, I feel like a normal, happy, fairly healthy person. And we are back, and we have made incredible progress on uh, uh, fans' build. And so now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be uh, fans going to be playing Heroes of the Storm. I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be playing some builds. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go over the parts for the build first. So what we have is uh, inside of this build, we've got a Core i9 12900K. We've got an NZXT N7 Z690 uh, Black. We've got the EVGA 3070 Ti for the Win 3. This is an RTX 3070 Ti. A one terabyte Intel SSD 660P. We've got a eight terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro hard drive. We've got 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z Neo RAM. Uh, we've got that black NZXT H7 Elite. Uh, we've also got that black NZXT Z73 RGB cooler, which we just got finished hooking up, which was like the last kind of fun part. And then lastly, the EVGA Supernova 1000 G5, which is the last kind of piece going into here. So that is the build as it sits. As you can see, I've actually got, uh, <clears throat> during the break, I did a little bit of the cable management. It looks nice and clean now. We'll go back to that, that shot there, but there it is. Again, very, very clean looking. Uh, you can see very the cables are all bundled together. Now what we're going to basically be working on is uh, just cleaning up the back, uh, getting the cable management done, making sure the, everything's hooked up. And then after that, uh, we'll start throwing in GPUs and putting in colored cables and all that sort of stuff that ends up making the build just start to have that sense of polish. But yeah, it's looking very good. Thank you very much, Death Frost. Now, uh, Fan, Fan, are you there? I'm going I'm to pretend yeah. like I'm in my ear. There it is, Fan. Okay, so we're going to come over to you. What's, what's in the agenda? What are we looking at for first game? Yeah, you know, for oh, the, Aram. Okay. Yeah, for the first game, uh, my chat has been hounding me uh, for some uh, chat Arams here, so I did promise them that. Uh, so yeah, let's go do a Aram. If you any of you guys want to join, it is channel Fantaro in Hots F A N T A R O, and I just take from the people that are typing in that chat. Oh, that's cool. So you're gonna play with folks uh, who are watching right now? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's e that's even cooler. Yeah. Gotta Look at you being a nice community. guy. Yeah, play with the community. Being a nice, being a nice person. You're like, let's let's join in. Have you met any like? Have you met any people from the community that have surprised you? That you're like, whoa, this person is way better than I expected. Oh, you, yeah. I mean, you'd be you'd be surprised. I I found that my chat is uh, what do you call it? Uh, they are very much some sweaty tryhards in a, for Aram in my chat. They. Uh, they take uh, gaming pretty seriously. I'm impressed by a lot of the skill levels that I find. Oh, I love that sweaty tryhards. Well, that's awesome. Um, and then, how, have you? Who is? Uh, have you? Do you have people who are watching here tonight, or that you have seen that have been following you for a really, really long time? Oh yeah, we got all the usuals in chat. I mean, we got Death Frost, Renana, Rich, Zach, Oliva, all the usuals. All Plenty the usuals. People. The, the, the usual suspects are here of to enjoy some gaming with you. And these guys are also pretty good at Heroes of the Storm as well, huh? Oh, yeah. At least some of them. Uh, you know, <laughs> some of them, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I don't know about Zach, but maybe the other ones are good. You know? <laughs> I love that. It's like you got you to you keep them grounded just as much as they keep you grounded too, right? <laughs> exactly. That's the way it works. Oh, we got some good heroes here. Oh, very nice. Can't ask for better for the first thing, Ram. Uh we're going with some questings for this one. Uh, Hots has these uh, quests where some of them, every time you hit some hero with a spell, you get you hear this nice little ding noise in your ear. It's okay. just as satisfying as the the ram computer. Click. Yeah, exactly. It's it's nice. Let's go with some of that. So we're guys. You guys are gonna get some good quality, uh, qu good quality heroes of the storm ASMR as well. Okay, okay. Look at you. Look at you. So who are you playing for those people who don't know? Well, talk of the devil. It's it's what I told you earlier. If I had to pick one hero as my 
all-time favorite hero, it's this one, Vala, the OG demon hunter from Diablo. She's been in the game since the start, my very first hero that I ever played in HOTS. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're, we're like kicking it off, we're like kicking it off quality uh, already. That we are, that we are. I see you dime dancing in game there, Limes. Okay. How's the uh, cable management going there? Good. I'm just. Uh, I'm getting. I'm. I've got your front stuff done, and now what I'm doing is I'm starting to create create these spines, which are areas in which uh, just your cables start to look nice as they come through the back. I try to make the back look almost as clean as the front, as if I possibly can. Oh yeah, uh, and that just make it nice. look really, really nice. Um, but sometimes it's just like you know within the realm of possibility. I oh. believe in you. You know. Oh, thanks. If, if it's anything. Uh... I'm sure it can't look worse than what I have at the back of my desk at home. That is, uh, that is a disaster, let me tell you that. <laughs> I've heard that quite a bit. <laughs> do you have a, do you have like a camera for your PC on stream or do you think that would be something you would add? Uh, I have a webcam, uh, oh. not, not like a hardcore camera. Maybe one day I'll add a you know, full-time camera. But a right PC now I'm just camera? Using, yeah, just using the pleb webcam. Well, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. That's all that matters, right? You yeah, don't need if you, if, it, if you don't need it, why spend the money? True. Oh, we're getting <clears throat> a lot of things up here. So far, so good. This is looking like a good stack collecting kind of game. And, and, and do the people you see in, that you're playing with right now are they people that you have uh, you have played with before so far from your community? Are you seeing some familiar names? Yeah, I am. Um, you probably saw some of these guys in chat earlier, too. We got uh, Death Frost here, Xanto, a couple familiar names for sure. Cool. And what are, what's like, so what's the strategy where you're at right now? What is like, what is your focus at the beginning of uh, the match? And oh. what is the map like? What are you trying to accomplish on the map? Uh, this map, you know, well, basically every map, the ultimate objective is to uh, destroy the enemy core. Since we're playing ARAM, this is a one lane style, kind of like a mini game version of the main game. And uh, you're basically just brawling 24 7, trying to uh, get to our opponent's core at the end of the day and destroy it. Uh, but the opponents stand in the way, so we got to beat them first. And then, uh, does the matchmaking, is it skill based matchmaking uh, for what you're playing right now? Or is it like, is, and do you feel like it works pretty well in Heroes of the Storm? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, I think the matchmaking for ARAM is a little bit looser than the matchmaking for rank, but the plus side, you get the games much, much uh, faster. But I do believe there is skill based matchmaking in this version, uh, in this mode as well. That's correct. Nice. Nice. So, and then how, what is it, what is it, you, you said already, you said one of the things that you enjoyed about uh, Heroes of the Storm was specifically how short the games were. And like, usually when you used to play a game like League or Dota, right. you were talking about a 30 to five, 30 to 45 minute, sometime even hour plus long oh, yeah. time commitment. What about, what about for Heroes of the Storm? Yeah, I think for a average Heroes of the Storm game, it should be no longer than about 15 to 20 minutes versus League. Uh, I find very often League games, like you said, are maybe like 30 to 45 minutes even. And when I was playing Dota back in the day, there was like buybacks for everyone. Those games could go up to like two hours or something. It was absolutely absurd. Yeah. Um... I would, I would absolutely agree. And then the other thing too is like having games like that, just a significant time commitment versus knowing it's something. I think I remember watching a BlizzCon, like when they first announced Heroes of the Storm and they, we knew they were gonna make a MOBA. Their whole thing was, is it was supposed to be like the lunchtime MOBA, right? Like you and your buddies could finish a game uh, during lunch was kind of the whole, the whole, uh, the whole premise. Oh yeah, and I think there's a lot of upsides to that. I, I don't think many uh, people can find uh, like one to two hours all the time just to drop for one game. Yeah, so. for one for one bit of time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So so far, how is it looking? Like, do you feel like there's an even level right now? Like in terms of how you're going? Like, you have a oh, you yeah. have an indication or no? It is dead even right now. Level seven to seven in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, every hero is the exact same level. It is team-wide leveling, which is something that is unique versus the other MOBAs you might know, like League and Dota, where you individually level your heroes. Uh, so the game is very well, close that's right. right now. I forgot about that. That's right. You, yep. you level as a team. Right. It's a very team-based, team-centric kind of game. So far, we're a little bit behind. 
I'm not going to say it's my team, my chat's fault here, but, uh, you know, I haven't died yet, chat. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> just, uh, not saying anything, but... Not going to call it out, but, you know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was saying team has no damage. Oh, and that was the other thing, too, is I do remember that, like, when you used to make, like, mismatched teams or teams that were missing certain things in the comp, right? Right. Like, it would tell you that. So somebody was saying in chat, one of the uh, backseaters, <laughs> you know, as they like to call it, as you like to call them, is saying that uh, he feels like your team is light on DPS. Is it that... is for now. It is for now. We have two healers, but, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Vala, I consider Vala to be the best DPS hero in the game right now. And uh, the way these quests spells work is that every time I hit them, every time you see that little ding, uh, my spell gets stronger. So every time I hit a hero with my W spell multi-shot, it, it gains more damage and that scales infinitely, which is one of the really fun things about HOTS. So and, I am scaling right now. Huh? And as long as you don't die, Right, like it scales until you die, or does it scale like the entire? Yeah, some some of them uh, are like uh, you lose all progress on death. The wonderful thing about the one I took though is, it doesn't matter if you die. So, oh wow! As, as the longer this game goes, the more damage I'm gonna do, and there is no limit. Wow. Okay. Yep. So you're cheating? Just kidding. Almost, almost cheating. Feels like it sometimes. So what are, like, you've talked a little bit, like, when you used to play this, and right now it's, I can see it's 11.10, but uh, when you used to play this and you talk about some of the meta changes, what are some of the changes that Blizzard makes to change the overall meta for, like, a season or whatever it is in Heroes of the Storm? Yeah, they, they make a lot of uh, balance changes, actually, to keep things fresh. So, you know, a lot of the strong heroes will get buffed from one season to another, and a lot of the weak heroes will get uh, nerfed. And they even do reworks where it's almost like you're playing a new hero. They'll change how a lot of the skills work completely from season to season, and um, a lot of that good stuff as well. That's kind of cool. Okay, so it, so it, like it, it does like if you are somebody who's thinking, well, you know, Blizzard's not really supporting this game anymore. That's not true, and the game does create continue to have that variety um, as you if you were to get into the game even now. Yes, that's correct. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Bonus if for uh, people who may be on the fence right now. Yeah, or thinking the, about getting in. The thing is, it's free to play, right? If you if you want to have some fun, it doesn't cost you anything. You can always download it and uh, you know, just start playing. No entry. And then just uh, friend fan <laughs> hot, and he'll play with you all the time. He's uh, he's starting up a university. Oh. That I am. That I am. <laughs> big blizzard, Xanto says. Ah, uh, dead to a big blizzard. It does happen sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> Looking good here for the damage, though. Top damage in the game, but we're only getting started. Yeah, there's you're only. It's, it's, to it's still, there's still more to go. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. We have, we've had, like, uh, and I, I don't, I, I probably am going to jinx it by saying this right now, but we've had... People have had very good luck uh, on games uh, during these segments on the shows. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, so we'll have to see if, uh, like, if it continues with uh, this round um, that you see, that you find that you're like, oh yeah, these were very successful games. I like mean, we had like, uh, so we, last week we uh, we had um, uh, playing uh, Final Fantasy VII and they were doing treasure. Oh, sorry, Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, and Spofi, and she was. We were doing treasure rooms, uh -huh. and we ended up. She ended up getting to the bottom of the treasure room three times in a row, which odds of that happening is like one in like one thousand twenty-four or something ridiculous like that. Oh my goodness! That and it happened like three luck. times in a row. So I'm just saying, like you may be hanging out in the luckiest place, and Intel may be the luck that you need uh, for why don't for who knows what. I mean, that sounds good to me. This is a pretty sick setup. I mean, this PC next to me, this thing is gigantic. I'm on oh, 200 yes. frames right now. This is like quadruple my normal frames. <laughs> quite quite impressive. Good. Well, we want to we want to make sure you have a good time when you're here. Mission Always successful. love to hear that. That's a mission success for sure. Although we are a little bit behind this game, but that's okay. I'm not worried. You know, not worried so far. Not worried so Where far. Where would you? When, when would you get worried? Ah, uh, you know, maybe when we lost. 
Yeah, if, if I see a giant red defeat. That's when you know it's over? Screen, yeah, that's, that, that might be when I start getting more. Effect. Other than that, it's fine. One of the cardinal rules of HOTS is, you know, if you're winning, everything's good. And if you're losing, everything is still good. You just, you, you're scaling. You just tell... You just tell people teammates, you're still you're scaling. scaling. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're still getting stronger. Yeah. It's fine. No worries. Until you see that big red defeat. Exactly. So what is your win-loss percentage in the game right now? Um, It's probably around like 60 to 70% when I'm uh, tryharding. You know, sometimes I'm tryharding, sometimes I'm clowning around, but... But if I'm really trying to win, it tends to be around that range. Okay. Okay. What would we What would we consider now? Is now clowning around? Is now tryharding? Oh, ARAM is the most uh, serious game mode in this game sometimes. Uh, with the way the players behave, I am trying out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, my. Oh, you said you said, oh, my. Something's going on. Oh yeah, the enemies are at our gates, but it's okay. I will uh, try my best to oh, keep oh, them out. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Well, they're literally at your gates. <laughs> Very much so. Should we be worried yet? Nah, I don't see any defeats. You're just scaling, no, Still right? scaling. Yeah, exactly. still scaling. You got the hang of it already. That is exactly how it works. Guys, don't worry. Still scaling. 125 stacks. You say three double. levels down. I say three levels, three levels to go. Exactly. You gotta have a positive attitude, guys. Positive attitude. Just fading out of my mind. Don't even worry, chat. That yeah, don't worry. Team. He just killed Hogger. Yep. Hogger down. I'm Hogger back. down. It's fine. Oh, big spear. Big spear. Oh, big butcher charge. Going in, boys. No, we're not. Big false alarm. False alarm. Oh, false alarm. I was ready. I was prepared. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna get the troops hyped up. Let me know when it's time. Will do. I was hyped up regardless. Let's see here. And for heroes, you get you get new talents every time you reach a certain level. I'm trying to decide what talent I want. You know what? I, I'll just go for more dings. More dings is always fun. I want you to choose the talent that wins. Oh, oh. is that right? Is that, okay. that, I felt like that was really helpful, right? Like that, quality. That did help. That quality did help. advice. Hey, you'd be surprised. I, I did mention earlier that my chat likes doing donation requests for heroes and talents and stuff. Uh, usually, they like donating for the talents and heroes that will make me lose. So, you know, that's, oh. that's a new one. That's, I'm glad you said that. I don't get that too often. Well, good. Yep. We're here to support you. We're here to make you look good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Almost we're throwing some purple cables in your build now. Ooh, Time to awesome. add some splash of color. I'm excited. Do you want... Okay, so vote for you. Do you want see-through purple or solid purple uh, cable combs? Ah, uh, see-through sounds a little cooler to me, but okay. they both sound badass. Dude, see-through it is. All right, let's do it. We're keeping you. We're keeping you entertained while you while you while you while you go and win. Oh, yeah, now people in the, now. Okay, so you've closed the gap 2018 now. So I feel yeah. like it's getting closer. Oh, is, you did lose that though. That's okay. We didn't need that. Anyways. You didn't need it anyway. Yeah, Who needed that? The building you need is your core. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it'd be. Oh. <laughs> That is very true. I can't. I really can't argue with that logic. <laughs> exactly. The only thing I need is my core. Ooh, big spear, almost. Okay, so and then is there a max level? I um, forgot. Technically, there's not, but it's it's kind of like uh, what's what's it called? Every level is exponentially more experience. So eventually, it's slower and slower. It'll it'll cap out somewhere around twenty, maybe a little bit more than that, but not okay. much more. So like all in all, like if if you can pull through, and then there is definitely an opportunity to swap like to, to do a comeback at this point in time especially as you close the gap from 20. oh yeah there is oh yeah see see chat oh fan lying weird there's no fan lying what are you talking about what there's an opportunity chat it's okay one percent chance is still an opportunity you know that's, yeah exactly that's all you need debbie downer <clears throat> I'll say though, the enemy team is healing out of their minds. I am They're doing really good. I'm impressed by the other team. That's good. Did you die? Oh, I didn't die. My whole team might have died, but you know, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. Looking, this I'm is chilling. looking bad. Uh, is that your core right there? That is our core. It is healthier that's, than I am. That's the one that you need, right? Like that's that, the yeah, one. That's, that's kind of the one we need. That's okay. 
there there will always be another chord oh. next game, you know. There will always be another chord. I like the positive. I like it. Guys, there will always be a next game. <laughs> exactly. Got to look on the bright side. Oh, GG. I think, I honestly think you were stream sniped. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> I got so many stacks, I consider that a win. 169 stacks of, of all the W. There that we go, is guys. There lot. it is right there. Uh, we, that was just a practice run. Yeah, practice, practice. Yeah, we just had to get warmed up. Warm enough, warm enough. Yeah, that's all it is. We're just scaling. <laughs> scaling out of our mind directly into next game. Let's do it. Oh, Intel, thank you very much for those uh, gift subs, by the way. That's what they do. Very kind of They them. lure you into a false sense of security with gifted subs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take it, you know. I will take it. I'll take it. All right, let's get some. Yeah, we're scaling, guys. Still, we're scaling. That Big was just scaling. a. We're now we're we're game scaling. Yeah. That's that's the that's the that's the goal next. Hopefully, most of these guys are new <laughs> players. We we always want to get as many people into these games as possible. Let so, everyone share the experience. Exactly, I agree. Um, so if people wanted to get in there, like, okay, I'm I'm gonna learn some. I'm gonna play some Heroes of the Storm. I'm gonna get into this game. I'm gonna become. I'm gonna become fan where I'm scaling all the time, scaling out of my mind. Oh yeah. Uh, what is like? What's the recommendation? Where do they start? Where where do you where do you suggest people start? Well, I mean, it's always a good time to just jump into the game. Uh, there's the good thing about heroes is there's so many ways you can just jump in and practice at no risk. They have versus AI modes where you can just practice. There's different difficulties of the AI as well. You know, beginner, in, intermediate, expert. You can jump into ARAM if you want to to get started. And then uh, once you get your account level up to about 50, I believe, which should only take a week or so's worth of time, you can start playing ranked if you would like to. Now, when you say, a ra okay, you play out of your mind. Like, you play a lot of games. Oh, yeah. So when you say about a week... Does that mean like three years in terms of my time? Like, <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think it's about a week in terms of a, uh, like an average player that plays, you know, maybe an hour a day or even less oh, than that. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. For okay. me, That's... I could probably do it in like, I could probably start playing ranked in two days, one day, that kind of <laughs> you're thing. You're like, you're like, I'm, I like, I, they actually, I just turn it on and it's like, welcome to ranked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, yeah. we're ready for you. Come on in, fan. <laughs> It is, it is my favorite game mode, but I know a lot of people find it intimidating to start with rank sometimes. Well, I mean, I think, I think it's like, um, it's funny. That was something that was interesting about TFT, and I don't know, I, I don't know if other games will, will do it, is that, um, you know, the, the thought of losing rank, right? Like, and that was, you know, I play a lot of Hearthstone. Actually, Hearthstone is probably one of my favorite games uh, by Blizzard. Um, and, you know, it's always disheartening when you go down in rank, you know? Oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. And so I think that sometimes that's what's kept them from rank, like playing ranked is like the idea of being demoted is just emotionally very scarring. It, it really is. I, I, I hear, I get questions all the time about um, ranked anxiety too, actually. You know, a lot of people, because of that, they just, you know, they're, they're scared or worried. They don't want to press the find game button a lot of the time. Yeah. That'll be a real thing. Yeah, for sure. And it's like, you know, it's, it's like even when I switched over from playing TFT and just like open games to this, uh, to playing ranked was like a big deal for me. Um, so, yeah, I can understand that. Oh, my. The graphics on this computer are so nice. I don't know if I've ever seen this crab sparkle so much before. It's oh, don't worry. Yours, your PC will have the same problem. Oh, excellent. Sounds good to me. Uh, if, you call, if you call being awesome a problem. That's true. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do it. Viewer game number two. Ooh, we both have Zuljins. That hero is kind of the strongest hero in this game mode most of the time. Let's see okay. if we can shut theirs down here. There's your top. That beautiful pop of purple there. Looks awesome. so good. Oh, I can't wait to check that out. I like pops of purple. Like pops of color and builds always are super nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so tell us about this map. Yeah, so now we're on Lost Cavern. All of these ARAM maps are technically one lane maps, but even in ARAM, they have a bunch of different maps. That's one of the great things about HOTS, you know, bunch of map variety. Most other MOBAs only have one map, but uh, in HOTS, you have, I want to say, like dozens of different maps in every major game. Yeah, I think, I think you're right on that. I mean, I, I think that's what I remember. One of the things I really loved about 
Heroes of the Storm was specifically how many just... And it changes. The maps do change the, the way the game is played, right? Like in yeah. terms of... Whether you're collecting ghost coins, or you're or you're uh, you're killing certain mobs, or you're or the angels when the two angels are fighting in the middle of the map on the Diablo one. Yeah, every map has a different uh, objective, and they they all fundamentally play very different. This is this and the Spider Queen one is that that that's another one, right? Like where you had to it kill. It is. Yep. Yeah. The minions drop gems, and you have to turn in the gems to get powerful spider monsters. It's all coming back to me. Oh yeah. And then it does. Yeah, it does the rush. Yeah. I bet you most of the bento folks are like, this guy actually knows something about video games. <laughs> I, I feel like you know a lot about video games. It's not far from being a video game expert at this point. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, I guess I, they probably didn't tell you that, but I was a, I was a video game developer for 20 years. Oh, so I worked oh at my. Xbox for 20 years. That's awesome. I've worked on a lot of games, uh, including some of the ones like uh, in like, uh, like classics like Age of Empires and oh, wow. Halo and Forza and uh, Project Gotham Racing. Um, you know, I, I launched every console on Xbox. You go to my profile on Xbox, you actually see all of the badges, uh, except for obviously the latest one for, I don't know why they didn't give me the 20 year. I gotta, I gotta write Phil about that, but yeah, which that's what <laughs> Phil Spencer's for. I was like, hey, Phil, I didn't get my 20 year. The president of, uh, the CEO of uh, gaming. But hey, I want my badge. <laughs> so, that's um, okay. Sick. Another purple cable in. Oh, let's put in your hard drive. That seems kind of useful. Oh, what are yeah. you going to do with eight terabytes of storage, my friend? Hey, that's a lot. I, my brain, I don't my even brain? think I comprehend how much uh, storage space that is. That's, uh, I mean, that's like, never even heard that number before. I ain't lots gonna... of, lots of animated, lots of animated, uh, uh, GIFs if you want. Oh yeah. Huh? I'm going to have all of the animated. You're going to download, you're gonna download the whole internet. Every single one. The whole internet. You're going to have it all. Q -q -q -q. And I'm dead. All right. It's okay. It's the warm-up feed. You heard it, guys. He's going to download the whole internet. Whole internet's coming into my hard drive. Going to put everything on this hard drive. What is, uh, what is like, a normal-sized hard drive, would you say, anyway? One to two terabytes is pretty typical, like, for people who do games. Gotcha. Uh, you know, they'll do, like, and, you know, four terabytes is pretty average from, like, storage space. But to have something like this is just... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that they do it just because I always make the joke, like, which is like, who needs this much storage? But they like to do it. I always joke it's like mostly for cat memes because you can probably, there probably are like eight terabytes of cat memes out there. I mean, I do love me some cat memes. I, I love me all kinds of memes. Sounds good to me. Is, there, is the uh, Heroes of the Storm meme community pretty healthy? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I would say I would say they're pretty healthy. Even my chat alone is a bunch of memers out there. I think a uh, nice thing about Twitch is you just automatically get a, a lot of memers. There's a lot of uh, you know, cool Twitch emotes that make it really easy for people to meme with. I'm trying to think of like quality Heroes of the Storm memes. Like, like if I could, if we could make some up here on the here on the show, I'm sure we could. Like about the heroes. Uh, it's, it's definitely like possible. Like what patch? What patch are we on? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't, I don't <laughs> even know about the patches by their numbers. I just, <laughs> I just think about it like, oh, this is the patch that made Rhaegar overpowered. This is the patch that made Vala overpowered. You know the good stuff. It's like it's like uh, it like one of the best memes would be like the like Rhaegar and then Valar becomes overpowered, but it's like it's like uh, the picture of the guy and the girlfriend, and it's like Rhaegar and then Vala's like the old girlfriend, right? Oh she's, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? there the you guy go. with the head, right? yeah, turning around. Yeah, the head turning around, but it's like instead of it's just the heroes because they, they, everybody's gonna go to a new meme. Meme. There you go. First meme made. There it is. We've made a meme, guys. We've memed. <laughs> you thought it wasn't going to happen. I, I really was doubting you. You must have heard it in my voice, but you made it happen. I did. Oh. Where's the W? Oh, uh, you know, working on it, working on it. It's getting there. <laughs> scaling. 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 I'm scaling. Scaling, scaling, scaling out right of our now. minds. Scaling out of our minds. Yep. Does dying help scaling? Sometimes, not always. <laughs> there, there's actually some talents in uh, 
in Hots well, that is where true, you get right? stronger yeah. by dying. Or you get stronger when your teammates die. Those, those are funny. I love those. I forgot, like, that, like I think when we used to play, I used to play a lot of Kerrigan. Oh, um, yeah. Playing um, it right now. And then Diablo. Yeah, and then uh, I played Diablo. Diablo was always a lot of fun. Um, and then we played a lot. I, I really liked... Uh, I really liked... Um, uh, my uh, oh man, stitches. Oh, stitches is always like a ton of fun. He's always a fun. He's always a fun one to play. Yeah, you, you can never get tired of the hook. Yeah, exactly. You can get tired of missing with the hook, but you can't get tired <laughs> of the hook. Exactly. <laughs> I actually played a stitches game just uh, yesterday, I think, where I felt like there was a magnet attached to my hook. Literally, just you're just uh, like getting everybody. Yeah, they just they, you know, even if I miss, they managed to walk into it. It was, it was a good <laughs> time. You're like, this is the best hook <laughs> day ever. Exactly. Market chat, greatest hook day ever. This One for the history books. It really was. It was. It was crazy. And this Kerrigan hero I'm playing is like a. They're called a melee assassin. So they're a yeah. bit squishy, a little, a little dangerous. They gotta go into enemy lines to get things done. So, uh, you know, TLDR chat. If I feed, uh, it's, not, it's not because it's, it's not me. It's the hero. Yeah. yeah. That's Let's right. Let's go with that. Thanks for clarifying. Yep. There you go. We're trying to think. Uh... He, who were the healers? Um, there was oh, there was uh, Lo, no, uh, who's uh, Arthas's the paladin. Um, Luther, yeah, yeah, Luther. yeah, that's right, Luther. And then I played Luther a lot. And they didn't they have like don't they have Lucio? I thought no, they maybe do, they do. Okay, they yeah. So I'm not I'm like notice heroes. how I'm like trying to come back and remember all the heroes at this. Point. I'm like oh yeah, wasn't he one? And yeah, so I'm feeling better about myself. I'm not completely. A knob when it comes to this game anymore. Oh, no, you're not. Like, like I said, I was very impressed with your Hots knowledge. It's, it seems uh, actually pretty extensive. Yeah, Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will. <laughs> Just uh, you gotta stick it to Will sometimes. That's right. You gotta stick it to Will. Understandable. Okay, here we go. Even leveled again. We're coming back. Okay, um, we are doing good here. I'm hooking up your hard drive now. Awesome. Getting that, getting that. So you got your eight terabytes of cat memes ready to download. Excellent. <clears throat> People in chat are like, what's a knob? That's too boomer for you guys, apparently. <laughs> well, and I think we're doing pretty good in this game as well. I, I believe my Zildjian is... Auto attacking like crazy. It's 16 16. This is closer than the last one. Yeah. So far, so good. Can't, uh, can't beat them too hard. Gotta make it exciting. Yeah. Oh my. Seeing some of my familiar people in chat as well Kurosaki. Then we got, we got Blondie hanging out. We got all sorts of people. Thank you very, everybody, for tuning in and being a part of this. I hope you're enjoying the episode as we're, we're working on some gameplay and some building. Just kind of finishing up our cable management here. Okay. You said that was soothing for a lot of people, right? Oh, the yeah. Good old they, cable they, management. Love, they love how it kind of comes together. Like, because it actually ends up looking pretty clean at the end, so. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Okay. Well, I'm going to move on to putting in your GPU. Oh, GPU sounds good. Uh, Nvidia, you need that. Right? Your graphics card. Yeah. It's kind of important, I've heard. Those are pretty important, I agree. Some people like them, you know. I definitely like them. Couldn't get them for a long time, too, oh, yeah. I thought, because of the whole crypto demand and stuff like that. The GPU, now it's like yeah. now the market's being flooded. Oh, I'll take it. I'll, uh, You're like, I'll take it. I get a GPU now. Yeah. Been surviving with my trusty 1080 for many years. Yeah, it's funny. I remember you and I we were really. You're like, how much better is a 3080 than a you know a 3070 Ti than a 1080? And it's like 65 percent better, like 65 percent uplift from a 1080. You know, so a 3070 Ti is only about 15 percent less than that. So you're talking about a 50 percent, a 50 percent jump in the overall power of your uh, just your GPU alone. That's not to mention what you're getting from all from your you know this ridiculous 12th gen. 12900K that you're getting as well. Yeah, that sounds, that's a lot of percents. 
That's a lot of percentage. It's all scaling. It is. That We're it is. scaling. You said the CPU was it was like a i9 and a bunch of really fancy numbers that I, I managed to forget. <laughs> i9 12900K. Oh my, it sounds, sounds very fancy. I'd love to hear that. We're scaling, guys. We're scaling. <laughs> we are. I, just going by the numbers here, but I, I think I had an i7, so I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, 9? A lot bigger than 7. Looking forward well, to that Well, the other two is that you had an i7, because i7, they have i7s now, too, right? But you had an i7 from, like, how many generations? You said four years, so it could be as many as five or six generations ago. Yeah, uh, it probably is, honestly. It probably is. So when did you, well, tell me about buying your first PC. Was it like, where did you, you just like, was it just, you were like, I need a new PC. This seems like a good company. Roby wasn't building custom PCs yet, so I couldn't <laughs> get it from him. I, uh, I mean, I think my very first PC was not even a PC. I think I was playing on some like really old, uh, rickety, like, uh, like 10 inch laptop for a long time, actually. It was, uh. Super Ghetto, and then eventually I won a PC for Heroes of the Dorm, one of the tournaments you oh, mentioned yeah. earlier. Yeah, I uh, was one. I was the uh, winner of the earliest Heroes of the Dorm as well, so got a PC there, which was always nice. Yeah, Heroes of the Dorm. I miss. I mean, sad when that program got you know Blizzard shuttered. That program, the college program, um, such a cool program. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. It was definitely a good time. Paid for tuition for a lot of people. And and even if you didn't win, you got a PC. For there you a go. Lot Which, of the I mean, who, who's going to complain about that? Yeah, exactly. There be people. They find a way. <laughs> that they will. All right. You they guys. don't understand scaling. They don't. And this game, uh, this this game doesn't count either. You know, it's uh, no one ever said second time was the charm. That's what I always tell people. Well, I think it's we the used third all, time. I think we used all of our. I think we used all of our luck in the uh, in the other two game in the other two <laughs> the other two episodes. Like now, it's like okay, now we needed one that it's gonna go from. It's gotta it's gotta uh, drop down a little bit. Oh, that's understandable. It's it's gotta go somewhere. Okay, we I got believe, a though. nice mod workshop. Uh, a nice mod workshop uh, logo on here now, which looks really, really good. So just adding some flair just to keep things uh, spicy, you know? Oh. The good thing is just that your PC is still coming together nice. Awesome. That is what so like, I love to Unlike hear. the scaling that's happening over there in the game, the scaling <laughs> that's happening over here on the PC side, still good. Still good. That is Excellent. I, I have faith in the game, too. You know, like I said, third time is the charm. This is where <laughs> the grand plan comes together. The, the scaling, it's all coming to an end right here. This is it. This is what it, this is what it comes down to. This yep. is the moment. This is what it's this all about, This is your Jack. moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is it's happening. Game faces on. <clears throat> Pretend like you're playing in BlizzCon finals, Chad. Don't dis <clears throat> disappoint me. I know, I know my chat is all Grandmaster <laughs> rank zero, so... Uh, I have confidence, and we're gonna build. We're gonna if you're uh, if you're over here watching the uh, PC side, we're gonna do some peels here on your uh, GPU. Cool. So many peels on this uh, on this GPU. So many peels. Yep. So we'll do some peeling over here here in a second. Just watch some just have some joy. People enjoy the the PC the PC peels here for this uh, your beautiful 3070 Ti. Yeah, well, this looks clean. That is so clean. i I mean. I guess, I'm guessing they're not looking at me. That PC must be looking really clean. Everyone's commenting about how nice that looks. Yeah, and they love the thick GPU. It's just gonna fill kind of fill out the rest of the the rest of the build as well. So we're just gonna kind of and I love to do like I, I the one thing I really like about the EVGA GPUs is that they have like it's they have like one big kind of peel. And so I'm kind of I'm just getting it prepared to have like this massive peel that kind of comes across the whole front of the K, uh, the the GPU. So it just takes a little bit of work, but it's so worth it in the end when you kind of get to do the big peel. Oh, I can I can hear that. That's a lot of peeling. You got a GPU over there in orange. Oh my! Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's gonna clean out the back area here, so it all comes off in one big sheet. Do one is a giant one sheet. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys.
There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little bit here. Oh. There it is. Coming off. There you go. There it is. There goes. it is. That's that's a craigasm. There it is, exactly. Lots of ASMR on that one. <laughs> Back into the game now. Oh, same map again. Oh yeah. This is gonna be better though. Oh this is this is definitely gonna be better. I hundred percent victory coming in. No doubt. Third time always the charm. Third time always the charm. Let's see if we can, let's see, it's like how, we got 15 minutes, folks. Can we get this PC finished in the same amount of time as he finishes this game so we get a W across the board? That is the goal. I believe I will uh, uphold my side of the bargain if you uphold yours. I will work good. on it. Let's I, do I, it. I won't sacrifice quality, but oh, yes. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, but we'll, we'll we're, that's the aim, that's the goal. Sounds good Putting a little challenge down, throwing down. Even though Will doesn't believe. <laughs> but you gotta stick it to Will sometimes. You do, you gotta stick it to Will sometimes. It's just the way things work. Okay, here we go. GPU going in here. We got one more big peel there. Oh, there it is. Very nice. And on the game in here, we're playing Junkrat. Some of you guys uh, playing Overwatch might recognize this character. Funny thing about Hot's characters is they're almost identical to the games that uh, they come from. So, you, Junkrat, very similar to the Overwatch counterpart. Throw grenades, throw traps, throw rip tires. I think I stopped playing before all the Overwatch characters. I think Tracer was the only one. Tracer and maybe one or two more were the only ones that I, when I was playing. Oh yeah they, yeah, they ended up adding a bunch of them later on. So do we have any heroes coming up that you know of, or like oh, new heroes? They never tell us about that. I'm hopeful though. I'm hopeful. Who are you? Who would you? Who would you like to see? Do you have any? Like, do you have any heroes you'd like to see, or do you have any ideas? Or oh yeah, I have about a thousand heroes I would like <laughs> to see. You know, every famous hero in any Blizzard franchise is a good one. But I do believe they're coming out with uh, <clears throat> what's he called Diablo Four next year. So maybe some oh so maybe there we Lilith, go. like the Faith of Diablo Four, something like that could be pretty. You cool. know what? I think I, you know what? Honestly, they could do a Diablo Immortal one. Oh yeah, uh, they could. where uh, it's just an ATM. That's true. I mean, <laughs> hey, that would be uh, accurate. <laughs> it's just a credit card, <laughs> and you have to pay every time to use the spell. <laughs> If we can have a probe hero, we can have a credit card hero. You know, <laughs> it's you not that different. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a quality. That feels like a quality. That feels like one that should go in there. Yeah. Hello. I think uh, the other one that would be kind of good, a very good Diablo one, would be like a whale. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. 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 I mean, this, this seems like some really good ones there. Yeah, okay. There are. So uh, yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see those. Yeah, Diablo 4 would be interesting, right? Some new Overwatch 2 characters for sure, and some options there. Um, and they still even have some stuff, uh, you know, within uh, even the uh, even the um, World of Warcraft, right? So, like, maybe some of the dragon aspects, like Malagos or stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, would be... yeah. So, uh, Malagos would be excellent. I yeah. actually know him more from Hearthstone even for the spell power card, but all of that would be wonderful to see it's, it's just cool seeing stuff you know in other games and seeing it pop up in a moba and being able to play it in a moba yeah game. or like even Ooh. an emerald of the dream map uh like an emerald an emerald dream map i think a lich like yeah i mean i i know arthas but i mean like now you have uh, uh what's his name uh even sylvanas like with the with the lich helmet or Stuff like that could be cool, or even like even new forms for uh, some of them, like which you talked about, which is like almost like that re that recraft that they do. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I feel like the possibilities are very often endless. That's one of the things excellent. I really just loved about Heroes of the Storm is just so much possibility because of the number of heroes. Yeah, exactly. So it's cool. It's such a good. So you're 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 making me want to go play again. <laughs> Well, if you ever want to, it's, you know, just a free download away. Yeah, just a free, well, oh yeah. I have a lot of money actually in that game. I, uh, apparently I was practicing for Diablo Immortal, so you're good, <laughs> you're good there. 
Okay, yeah, ooh, I love that purple. Ooh. I can't see it right now, but I'm so curious. Cannot wait to check it out. Oh, good leaming combo. Okay, so we got off. that in now. Nice. Getting our getting our cable combs in. Kind of finish this out. And only thing I got left is a GPU. You guys are level nine, so you're not you're coming up on mid game. We at are. this point in time. Yep, about halfway there. Still got you still got plenty of time though. Yep. And like I said, guys, for those who don't know, uh, we actually pre-set pre up all the builds beforehand just to make sure that, obviously, if we have to run to Micro Center and get some parts or whatever it was, we're, we have time. So uh, this build has already been fully set up. So when we turn this on, um, we're hoping that the lighting should just be the right colors right out of the box. Now, obviously, when you remove a CPU, you're going to do the trigger and it's gonna, you're going to still pop into BIOS, but um, should, should be uh, hardware set. So we'll have to see when we light it up. That uh, sounds good to me. Although you said about half the words there, I did not fully understand. But the ones I did sounded good. That's right. I'm bored it did. When I say cable combs, you know things are serious. And a rip tire. We scaling? You still scaling? I am. I am always scaling. That's uh, one of my specialties. This time it's looking better than the last, though, you know. Progress like every game, that's third, what counts. Third time. Third time. It's the charm. Is there still a is there still a healthy community for new players in this game, you think? Or is it like you feel like it's just really kind of um like older, more skilled players, right? Like do you feel like there is room for a new player to play learn jump in and start playing and learning to play the game again? Yeah, I think there's definitely room for a new player. I mean, um, I've, I, it's hard for me to comment because, you know, I've been playing for so long. I just, I haven't been a new player for so long, but I think there's definitely room. And some of the old players I see play like they're new players anyway. So, yeah, no <laughs> difference, no difference. <laughs> <laughs> wow, throwing some shade. <laughs> that is what I do. It's like people are like, wow, do you think I was pretty good? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> Honesty is uh, virtue, right? That's what they say. It's like my always my favorite ones is like I've seen some guys who are like they're playing like Fortnite and stuff like that, and then they're like, "So how did you think I did?" And they're like, "Well, do you want me to lie?" No, <laughs> you did good, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, exactly. You did terrible. It's always fun. I always like those little uh, those little moments with your community. Yeah. And that's gotta, it's gotta, I think it's also with you playing with your community, it's gotta add to the variety as well, right? Because, you know, you're, you're, you're having to uh, change like tactics and all that sort of stuff as well to kind of fill, fill in those gaps. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll play around what everyone likes to play and wants to play. Sure. Uh, somebody's asking, is it the, uh, is it the, this is not the flow, this is the elite. So it's got the, uh, we are using the Elite, which has got the side panel. Uh, if you guys want to see our full review on the case, it's actually available over at youtube.com slash robitech. Thermals with this, uh, with this particular combination, especially because we have a top mounted AIO, uh, with the front panel are going to be absolutely fine. Uh, even with the closed off, it's got a massive, uh, uh, very, very thin, easy to breathe mesh on the left hand side, on the right hand side and on the bottom to pull in air for those 140 millimeters, those three 140s that are in the front. So. Ugh. Okay. On the other team's kind of clean. PSU time. Nice. Last part. PSU. That's the this power is the supply, end. right? It's the end of the world as we know it. Oh. It's come so fast. So. Detonate that rip tire real quick. Okay, so are you guys are you guys actually making progress on the map this time versus like the last time? Like you guys are actually taking out some of their towers. Oh, looks like you're at their base. You no, know, we're kind of at their base. Since uh, if this is a tug of war, we're uh, slightly winning. Take it. Okay, I'll take it. Best one yet. Best one yet. That's always uh, like I'll, I'll always take that. Yep. Okay. Pulling out your cables that you need here. And you need a lot of 
A lot of uh, SATA cables here. Oh my. Not these. These. These are not. Okay. In your extras. There we go. Game's starting to look pretty good. Oh, you're on a kill streak. We are, we are. Look at this. Feels like it's all coming together. Third time was charm. Every time. Oh, my team's on fire. Team. Oh, double kill there. And another one. Oh. Wow, we're at 17, so we're getting close in endgame. Roby's gotta Roby's gotta do his part here. Start kind of pulling things together here, folks. We're gonna make sure we get done on time. Oh, I believe. I believe. Now I'm gonna get grounded. Oh, Will, look at Will. Make him make an evil eyes at me. Doubting me. Uh, but here, let's go and take a quick sniff here. Yeah, not every game ends at level 20 oh, either. Man, oh. I love the smell of ozone in the evening. Is that oh. the new PC smell? That new, that new PSU smell. Oh, wonderful. Pretty much, pretty sure I killed like half my brain cells with that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We'll grab a couple of these just to make sure you have plenty of room for SATA. Nobody's SATA when I use those cables. Okay. Here we go. SATA 2. SATA 3. This feels like the win. I feel like you and I, I think everything's happening together. I I would have to agree. So far, so good. You've got your focus. You've got your focus face on. I do. I because do. I've noticed that like your as the game has moved on, uh, your glasses have become to, has it's almost like the World Series of Poker. They've become darker, more focused. Like you're sucking the soul out of your opponents. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, the double kill, the triple kill, every one on the other team. All the kills. All the kills. All the kills. There we go. Skilling. It's almost complete. Dropping that thousand watt PSU into the into its spot. The last component of your build. Ugh, now it's very heavy. Which is why I always do it last. Okay. One more grenade for the road. There we go. Chat can hold down the line. Looks like they're doing pretty well here. Level 20. Feels fights. like it feels like uh, even your team is like synergizing. You guys have like turned into like a uh, like a like a like a single Voltron <laughs> like Heroes of the Storm Ultra unit at this point in time. Oh, well, basically we we got some strong heroes this time. We got a whole bunch of heroes poking from a screen away. Like this is like the this is when I when everything comes together. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Long Putting the last four of the component screws for your build. I just love the smoothness of the iFixit uh, kit screwdriver. Oh, me too. I... Yeah, you got to I use it, right? It. Like yeah. it was, it's just a as nice soon as screwdriver. I used it, it was just so smooth, actually. Yeah, I it need is. one of those myself. I feel like you might have to go home and uh, work on a sponsorship. Yeah. This Heroes of the Storm, this Heroes of the Storm stream is brought to you by I Fix It. <laughs> Even though there's nothing to fix, if I needed to, I can. Sounds good enough to me. <laughs> You're like, I'll take you. Oh. Giant fireball. Uh -oh. Death by giant fireball. Oh, you died. That's okay, my. Uh, it's okay. Everything's fine. Yeah. Just scaling for the greater good. I uh, take oh, the giant fireball so my team wouldn't have to use just the selflessness, you know. It's what I like. Yep. You're showing leadership. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. Leadership. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the matrix of leadership is also in Heroes of the Storm. Some people do not with the, do not get that joke, but you have to be a Transformer fan. The matrix of leadership, you said. Yeah. I am. I'm not a Transformer fan, I guess. Will it fix my MMR? <laughs> uh, I don't think good so. Good question. Can't blame them for asking. No, I can't. You can't blame them for asking. I do like. I do like that some people got the. Uh, some people did get the uh, Matrix of Leadership. 
comment. So thank you, all you boomers who are watching. Or Transformers fans. Either one. Twenty-one, twenty-three. You guys are in a healthy place. No tire. Yeah, we are. Doing good. Fine. Are we getting there? Oh my God! Death by giant fireball number two. Okay. Oh no! We took, again? we took one down with us for okay. the greater good. For the greater good again. Yep. Okay. Let's grab this. For the greater good here, called hooking up your SATA connections. It's not really for the greater good, but I'm trying to make it sure it feels tied in. That, uh, for, for my good, I appreciate that. For the good of your PC. Yep, right there. Making sure it works. Working PC always in upside. It feels, feels, feels important. It feels like it should work. Like that's a, that's a critical component of any PC build is that in the end, it actually does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it does feel that way. Rather important. Get some grenades going here. Okay, next up. Other SATA connections. Oh, that's pretty funny. I just heard the line. Delivery for whatever your name is. Oh, you can hear the in-game audio too. I didn't even realize. Yep. Yeah, I can actually hear your your game audio. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're a they're a talented group of uh, of uh, people here. Actually, the the, the Bento team oh, and yeah. Will. Um. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, actually no. They're what this just show continues to get better and better and more entertaining for everybody. So, um, which I which I always love. Um, and so, uh, I, like, I'm glad to see, like, people getting to enjoy, um, you know, they, they come here to watch you, you know what I mean? Like, you're a part of this, and so they get an opportunity to see you do you, and at the same time, watch you get to see, build a PC and enjoy that experience for the first time, which I think is really neat, and it's the, the great production team here makes that possible, and continues to innovate the show style. Oh, for sure, I mean... I fully agree with that. Plus, I mean, who doesn't love Bentos? Can't go wrong. Yes. Best name ever. Oh! Okay. Just flying around I'm down to three connections on your PC. That's all I have left here. Okay. Last good. three connections. How are we doing on your side? Oh, we're doing pretty good uh, on Medivh. our side, I just too. saw Medivh. Now Another we're... one of my favorite heroes, uh, here, World of Warcraft characters. Oh, yeah. Even though he, like, pretty much started most of what caused World of Warcraft. But. <laughs> yeah, he, was, uh, he had good intentions, I think. I don't know. I just, that's, 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 uh, that's, to be, that's TBD. We oh, don't, okay. We're not entirely sure oh, if it's... that's true. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Chad, I'd love to know. Do you think that Medivh's uh, intentions were good or no? At their core over here too, <clears throat> so finishing up. Yeah, they're over they're all tight. Well. Yeah, they they do have they do have really good camera work and all that stuff. He atoned for it. Okay, there we go. So people are people are people are of mixed emotions, but understandable. I feel like a lot of Warcraft does that to you. I'm sure Matif was trying his hardest. Oh yes, Sagara, yeah, Sagaris would be the the ultimate villain, right? I'm not the biggest lore person, but I do believe you are correct. Yes. I'm sure Fan had good intentions. I did have good intentions there too, Xanth. I was intending to uh, kill their core. It was uh, good intentions. Good intentions. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna make sure your stuff is working. Sounds Here we go. Good. Fireball, goodbye, Death Frost, the giant ult. Okay. Maybe not. Very nice. Just <sighs> the armor. I'm connecting your last connection, my friend. Sounds good. Their core is only 30% healthy. They're on their last legs here, too, I believe. 
more or less. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pull that back up. There we go. Okay. 30%. Is that what you said? Oh. Oops. Warm up feet. Warming up my feet. Yep, 30% on their cores. So yeah, you guys, are, there. you guys are like on the push at this point in time. Yeah. ARAMs can get pretty silly, though. You never know when it'll actually end. It oh, goes back and forth pretty often. Yeah, that is definitely true. Okay, so we got that all hooked up. What we're going to do now is let's get this put back together. And we'll be ready for you when you get done. Ugh. Sounds good. We got to get ready for the big peels. That's always important. Ooh, People love peels. to see the big peels. There we go. Quality. Nice. And somewhere around here, there it is. Dust filter on here. There you go. Onwards, team. To their core. To so the close. core. To the core. There it is. And what we can do is one more cool sticker in the back corner here. Plan. Stickers. Make sure we got our our uh, our branding, because this is a mod workshop build. Oh yeah, you're showing me those stickers earlier. Those. We're gonna put them everywhere on all the stickers. Sounds good to me. There we go. Awesome. Bombs. We have time to get the sticker on. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, you're good. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. So, uh, what are you guys working on right now? Is it still just about the push, or like, what are what is the like the the mini objectives for this particular map. Well, this map is a little bit more simplified than the traditional maps, but right. the objectives are still pretty similar. You have the mercenary camps that you can take, which are uh, Goliaths from StarCraft, actually. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And they assist in uh, helping you take the core. And then the other mini objective on ARAMs usually is actually the globe generators. Every 45 seconds or so, they'll generate a globe for you where you can. Uh, so it looks like you're getting some response, though, from the other team, right? Like they're actually coming back a little bit? or? Oh, yeah. This is a back and forth tug of war, but we're, I would say we're still pretty firmly in the lead. Their core is now at 16%, almost. Oh, wow. Zero. Okay. Oh, you're oh, you actually, but now yours is vulnerable. That's true. It all change. Oh, there we go. That was good. There you go. Nice sticker there. Clean, clean mod there for that. Excellent. And then I want to see one other thing. We got that, and then stickers for that are good. We get one more, potentially, I think would look good, is 
I don't know. I think we want one more on the front. Take this yeah. in our own hands. Backdoor time. Backdoor. <clears throat> Give him the Nova kiss. There we go. Oh, okay. Never mind. You did it. We did it. Just on time. We just got finished. Oh, perfect timing. Third time was the charm all along. GG. It was. And there is your build. So if you want to, if you, uh, if you want to pop on over and yep. start moving back over here, Sounds we'll, good. uh, we'll uh, have you come and see and inspect the build. Make sure it's good enough for your, uh, for your stream and all that sort of stuff. Make sure it looks good enough. Yep. Let's do it. <clears throat> on over. Do a little bit. I might do that. One moment here. <clears throat> there we go. Just fix, clean up your sear. There it is, guys. There is the build. All right, I'm back. There you go. So here's the build. You can look at it from the front here. So here, I'll give it sideways for you. So that's what it looks Ooh. like. That looks beautiful. Yep, and then and then even the back. So we'll just pop up in the pop pop up in the back so people can see yep. the cable management there for the rear. Here you go. That is actually very clean. And even your everything's yeah, so, so nice and tidy. Like, yeah, we just try and keep it nice and tidy and cleaned up and all that sort of stuff. So there is your build. Now is the question: Does it work? And of course. I, you know, <laughs> that's a good question. It's a good question. Like that's a that's a very important question. Yep. So let's grab our power cable, okay. which we have right here. So there's our power cable. Let's do it. Yeah, purple kit. Yeah, <laughs> work. Okay, here we go. Oh, these are nice stickers. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, that way it's like branded, which is always really good. And so you want to plug that in down there. Sure. One. Yep, there we go. Okay. Plug this in here. Okay, turn it on. All right. And just push that button right there. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I hear. Oh. There it is. Oh. It is on and it is lit. It is very lit. And again, you got that here. If you want to go look at the front there, yeah. go take a gander at it. So it looks like the RAM didn't go purple, but everything else did. So you got white, purple, and then, of course, the RAM, when it gets into Ooh. an OS, which it won't do right away, but the RAM should go purple as well. So you have, like, the white highlighting the front, highlighting the, uh, highlighting the, uh, uh, all the components inside. But, again, very, very clean in terms yeah. of uh, the look as well. Now, if you want to come over here, okay. we'll have you start right here, and then you can do the first peel, and then we'll do the peel for the other one there. Oh, God. The, so you can, the peels are the important. Peels so are take, are... yes, do slow. I right, just slowly peel yeah. this off. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. They're, 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 doing a, they're doing a camera. Oh, gotcha. Here we go. Ready? We good? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do it. I'm Three, slow. two, one, go. Slow. There we go. Oh, my God. Goodness, there's something satisfying yeah, about the there's peeling something, too. Yeah, about the peels as well, right? Yeah, it's so shiny and yeah, clean and I, underneath. That's one of the things I really love about this particular case is just how shiny and clean it is. Okay, now we got the big peel, so we're gonna grab big peel. The big peel. I think there's only. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one off. This is the boring peel, but I'm gonna just get it so that way we can have the really good peel. Sounds good. So. Here's the boring peel, right? Oh, there it goes. Now the lights are purple like they're supposed to be. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is beautiful. There we go, right here. Got some color coordination going on there. Okay, awesome? here we go. Now we're ready for the big peel. So I'm going to put this on, and then you're going to come over here. Sounds good. And do the, the real one. Okay, so if you want to start right here. And then he'll, and then just gonna peel that way, essentially. Sounds good. The big peel coming in. All right. So three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, that oh. is the big peel. Oh, there and we there go. it is, right there. Wow. 
tempered glass, right? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I think these, they, I think they made them better now, so they should just, there we go. Yeah, they should just, yeah, there they go. Nice little, get rid of those little triangles. Awesome. Well, it matches, matches my wardrobe. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your, your, your Twitch partner wardrobe. Yeah. We can do this one one more time. Here we go. There we go. Right. Cool. Boom. Clean as a whistle. Oh and there it is, guys. There is the entire build all done, all lit up, OS installed, everything good to go, running Windows 11 so you get those beautiful P cores and E cores. Awesome. You can, all you got to do is throw, basically throw, uh, throw uh, your games on it, and then yeah. you're basically good to go. So, guys, one more time, just walking through the specs of this incredible PC. We've got the Core i9 12900K. We've got uh, the NZXT N7 Z690 Black motherboard we got an evga 3070 ti for the win 3 ultra uh the ssd is a one terabyte nvme uh one terabyte nvme intel ssd 660p we've got an eight gig uh eight terabyte seagate iron wolf pro uh 32 gigs of g skill triton z neo at 3600 megahertz uh we've got the nzxt n7 elite in black and then we've got the nzxt kraken z73 uh z73 aio and then you've got the EVGA Supernova 1000G5. So that is all of the uh, that is all the components inside of this amazing PC. And I think it came out absolutely incredible. And there it is right there, all lit up and looking fly. So again, you got that screen in there. You can see your CPU oh, wow. temp is sitting yeah. at 21 degrees right now, which is nice and nice and frosty. Nice. Um, the whole thing just looks really, really good. And so I uh, hope you like the purple. And again, you have complete control to change the colors into whatever you like. So yeah, I love it. You can see the temperature just with a glance. Yeah, too. with, That's a, with awesome. a glance. Yeah, the whole thing just looks really, really good. But there it is, guys. OK, so uh, that is it for the show. But fan, if they want to see you, if they want to find you, how do people go and find you after the show? Like where how does that happen? Yeah, you can just uh, search me up, you know, whether it's Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, anything. It's Fan Hots, F-A-N-H-O-T-S. So you can find me that way. That's uh, all my handles pretty much. There you go. There you go, guys. Well, this has been another Mod Workshop for the next summer. For the summertime, you can look forward to these almost every week. So we're going to be back next week for another amazing build. So uh, with another amazing creator. Uh, fan, it was so, so, so super cool to, be, uh, to hang out with you, to watch you play some really great heroes. Heroes of the Storm yeah. for teaching me a little bit more about uh, playing some uh, TFT. Um, but outside of that, guys, uh, have a great stream uh, and a great evening. And we will see you guys on the next episode.